crazy. Anyways, welcome in. Good morning. Uh, you may notice something. Uh, no camera today because uh, my eyes hurt. <laughs> my my like light for some reason is hurting my eyes, and I have to have these massive stream lights on to be able to stream appropriately with the green screen. So, uh, not streaming today uh, with my uh, with my camera. So, here we are back in our world, just me and you, just. Just like me and you, li I'm living through this character as as normal. So, welcome in, guys. Green, welcome, welcome. Craig, good to see you. Trace Huber, welcome, welcome in. Death Angel with the three stream streak, good to see you. Welcome back. Um. Uh, SH Super, welcome, welcome. Green, oh my gosh, this is oil. <laughs> I just like casually walk through oil. Well, I gotta shake it off. <laughs> Let me shake it off. All right, we're good. <laughs> um, let's see. Wait, what did I miss? There are three lights. What do you mean three lights? What? Are you talking about what? 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 <laughs> Welcome, Craig. Uh, Multius, good to see you as well. Good to see you. It's a Star Trek Next Generation reference. Well, how am I supposed to know that? What? 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 <laughs> Goodness, I I unfortunately didn't uh, didn't get to watch a lot of sci-fi when I was uh, growing up. Outside of maybe it being on when I was like I was upset and I couldn't sleep, and I'd I'd go into the living room and and Dad would be sitting there watching sci-fi, and I would maybe see it for a brief moment. Yeah, that was that was me. I really watch a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh my god! Yes, this is uh this is tor tortured chosen day, uh Friday. Um, I'm sure that's going to end up happening. But right here is what I want to work on. I know we're upside down, but I promise things will get better as we. Uh... Did you say the Kardashians <laughs> being tortured by the Kurt? Oh my god! But we're setting these things up right here, and I actually want to I want to kind of get an idea today and, and start building around it. God, that's trippier when it actually flips back to normal. Like my brain gets used to it for a split second. Um, I want to see exactly the shape that this produces when it is in its full rotation. So let me turn this on real quick. We set this up last stream. Um, so yesterday we set this up to harvest these ore nodes and this is uh, reproducible. I did post this, uh, this build. Uh, the schematic for the schematic cannon is listed in the world downloads channel on the discord. So if you're interested in downloading this for yourself and trying to build it in your world or even just immediately paste it in with, uh, with creative, um, you can do that with a schematic cannon. So definitely worth, uh, checking out. It glues everything together and everything. You just need to give it some, some power in the back and, uh, the thing starts spinning, but I want to figure out today, uh, how deep I need to make this so that way it doesn't clip into the ground like that, right? Um, I, I don't want it clipping in the ground. And so I need to figure out, I mean, I guess I could kind of math it out how, how far this needs to go. Let's see, it looks like it's going all the way down here. So it goes through these blocks like this, so that's fine. And it pops through this. Okay. So I'm going to keep gonna keep looking at that. There we go. That looks good. It looks like we're fine to put a block technically here. Oh, no. It's clipping through that, isn't it? Yep. So I want to just... It doesn't, it doesn't really bother it if it's clipping, but I, I don't want it clipping. I want to build something that actually looks nice uh, around this. And getting the number would be a good idea. Hey, look at that. We got a polished as... <laughs> We're going to be farming this material anyways. Got a polished one. Wait. Was that an Eskimo joke? Igloos... Wait. Oh, God. Igloos it together? No, it was not. I just... Oh, my God. Chat. Good morning, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, Juninator. With the three stream streak as well. Dragon Hearts popping in with a seven stream streak. Welcome in. Welcome back. Buzz, welcome in. <laughs> this is Chosen's theme park. 
Oh yeah, that was something that I wanted to do. Um, let me actually, let's go real quick back to the base. And this is actually kind of funny what we can do with this. Um, this is, this is hilarious. All right, let's, takes a little bit of setup to get it going, but we can actually turn it into a theme park. Oh my God, don't fart in an Apple store. They don't have windows. Oh God. Why? Is this what happens on Fridays? Is this how Fridays are going to be? Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying to make a cushion. All right. Hey, nice armor. <laughs> Can I have a set? <laughs> Dude, Zion, welcome. Thank you for the hundred bits. No, you're not allowed. Not allowed to have a set. Got to got to make it yourself. Goodness. Goodness. That was mildly funny. Oh God. As a tech joke, it is kind of funny. All right, I need, which I don't know if I have an extra one, but I'm gonna make one. Uh, mechanical bearing. Okay. So what I should be able to do is I can actually, I should be able to hook a mechanical bearing and glue it to the side of this. And it like maintains its like rotation. Like it'll main, so as it's spinning, it will maintain its center point, I guess you could say. I, I don't know what the actual term for that would be. But essentially, I should be able to place it like right here, right? And then my seat can go right here. And it will stay fixed. This seat will stay fixed like this. It won't like flip or anything like that. And so whenever I glue this together, you gotta be kidding me. Where's my glue? Oh, is it still in my, it's in that bag. One of these bags. But yeah, whenever I glue this together. There we go. And then that glues to it. Um, we should be able to turn it on. And I should be able to get into the seat. And look, it holds its rotation. Meaning that I can technically ride it. While it being very dangerous to do, I should be able to technically ride it. <laughs> I don't know how to get on. How do I get on? Oh God. Nope. Nope. I'm going to get up. Oh, nope. Oh, ow. I'm going to jump. I'm going for it. Hey, hey, there we are. So yeah. So technically we can ride this thing. <laughs> oh no. That's not good. Okay. 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 The tripping me up actually kicks me out of the seat. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for that. This was, this was a fun ride. Great. Just, uh, just sort of dangerous. Good thing it's not like mechanical saws because that would be a whole other level of danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> this, uh, this though, we got to get, I want to make it look better. So let's get it back and let's remove that glue. It's, it's only kind of sort of mildly dangerous only like kind of sort of like not a big deal but like could kill you sort of deal just a little bit all right anyways i'm getting carried away here let's turn it back on i'm trying to get the like the ideal shape of this I'd kind of like to encapsulate it. It'd be kind of cool. Maybe I should just get them running first and then build it. I have no idea. Joshua, thank you for that prime. Welcome to the crew. Thank you so much, my dude. I'm, I swear I feel so bad every time I toss the head out of my inventory. But like, it's got to happen. It's like, it's got to happen. I'm sorry, chat. It's not personal. But taking it so personal, chat. Being a baby. All right. <laughs> morning, Chosen. How am I? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good this morning. 
trying, trying my best. I'm a, I'm, I was definitely, I definitely didn't get the greatest night of sleep. I don't know if it was the combination of like my, my kids or what, uh, or just, just having a bad night in general, but definitely, I think it was definitely one of my kids. She, I don't know what she, she, uh, she goes through this, these phases where she just starts like crying at night, whining. She's five, but she just like, just one. It's not like a cry. It's like a whine. It's really hard to explain. It's not like a normal cry. Right? And so, oh, it's, 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 uh, it makes it, yeah, you can't, can't really go back to sleep. I think it might be growing pains. No telling. My other daughters didn't do that though. I thought I remember anyway. It's been years though. All right, here we go. We're getting, we're getting somewhere with this. Okay, this needs to go down further, right? This isn't clipping right here, is it? No, this is good. Um, But this is clipping right here. Yeah, like this level. Hey, once we have the bottom section here kind of identified, we can we can actually start to uh, to build out all of them this way because we'll know the dimensions since they're all the same. Kind of scary hitting this block. <laughs> Gonna pop in and bob out. Bob and weave chosen. It's so satisfying when you just insta break things. It really is. That's that haste. That haste is helping. Okay, that's all right. So if I know this side, I can probably just fill this in. That can definitely go there. Oh, get over here. Uh oh. Enjoying watching your YouTube playthrough of All the Mods 9? Oh. I'm having a blast playing All the Mods 9. And thank you for watching it. All right. That definitely clips if I put a lock there. Okay. I am I am having a blast. I did, however, just go through um a mod that Oh god, it's always I always dread every every time it's in a pack, I always dread needing to do it. And that is extreme reactors. It's like it's just it's just rough. It's rough for me. Honestly, any mod that has you build out like massive multi-block structures always gets kind of tedious at least i find it tedious maybe i'm just not a huge fan of like certain multi-black mods i don't know maybe it, it it's probably more that i've built them and like once you've built them like three or four times you know you get it gets kind of stale when you've built the same thing over and over and over again i mean I'm, yeah i'm sure you understand but I did set up a crazy, I think what I've been doing to fight that, like that feeling, cause I know you guys probably feel it too, right? I'm there's a hundred percent gotta be mods that you look at and you go, ah, oh, I don't really want to do this one right now. Right? So what I, what I've been trying to do to get around that, that feeling is, um, going, I'm going to try and build something that is just on it on insane levels and see how see how it goes and so far it's been it's been working out pretty good i'm just gonna do it but i'm gonna do it on a scale that i've never done it before and i think going bigger has made has made some things a lot more fun to do because i've always tried to build things small and i feel like that's always hindered me with a lot of setups unfortunately Was this literally just a stair step? It is just a stair step. 
Okay, so how far out is this? This is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know that our stair step, I think it's starting here, right? It's the one block down here. And that should be fine. Actually, no, it's wrong. I'm wrong. I am 100% wrong here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, why does this side stick out further than this side? Why can't this setup be clipping? Oh, it's because this is taller. That's why. Why can't it be clipping? It can be clipping. I it, it can. It is clipping currently. I just don't want it to be clipping. Is that is that like fair? Like I don't personally want it to clip. I want to understand the dimensions. But no, it can 100% clip. That's the cool part about create contraptions, right? Is they can just they can absolutely clip. Which is so weird, though. Oh! To me, though, the clipping ruins the immersion of it. Oh! It's like a race. <laughs> I got my own mini game I made. Ow. No, don't trip me up here. I mean, actually, the trip up might actually work. Oh, God. Nope, no, don't. <laughs> oh, God. You don't even let big cogs clip personally. Yeah, I mean, there's just like an immersion level. Like, it's like, it gets wrecked. You know, now that I got the other side done, I should probably just shut this off. Now that I know where... Oh, that's not how that works. <laughs> I can just shut it off. <laughs> Look at me being a big old goofball. Even create for me, by the way, going back to the same topic as earlier. Even create for me can have this feeling of, oh man, I don't want to set that up, you know? 100% happens. Sometimes it does feel like work. What's this contraption even for anyways? Um, this one is going to be, uh, is going to allow us to automate all of these different things. Um, so we have iron ore. This right here is zinc. This is copper and this will produce gold. All of these will produce those things, which is going to all be pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. Now, the thing that we're gonna have to figure out later on is, are we just gonna take the raw material here and then process it somewhere else? <clears throat> or are we going to do something else? I, I feel like processing it, processing it somewhere else might be a good idea. And just send it the raw redstone, right? That might be a good idea. But yeah, this, this basically harvests and also places redstone on the middle to generate it. All in one machine. So. But now that I have this laid out, I kind of know what the size needs to be for like if I build a, a ring around it. I now can see exactly what I'm working with here. Right. 
This is this is my template, by the way. This was my template one. Uh, cause we we do have another one over here, and we pasted it in. But so we have two more to paste in. Um, and then it's just a matter of cleaning this area up, building some uh, infrastructure around it, so that way we can get a train running through all of these areas, unloading redstone. Not a lot of redstone, but it will be unloading redstone into them. And will also be, um, which I've got to figure out. It, we're going to have to figure out a way to only send a certain amount of redstone into these things. Um, so we'll have a train that deposits redstone into some sort of barrel that will be locked similar to this. Um, that'll go in the side and so on and so forth. How to create trains work. Uh, they just... You set a track, and they travel from one location to another based on a schedule that you define. You you, you set up the schedule. So kind of how IRL trains would work, technically. Okay. <clears throat> so what should we do, chat? Should we go ahead and just get this placed in um, the other two locations? I think we should do that. We should get the... the this uh, sort of build placed in. I think I'm going to have to make more drills. Because this uses about a stack and 14, I think. Drills. Feeling okay? I see you don't have your camera going. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fine. My whole house is sick, but um, I'm hoping I don't get sick. Um, <laughs> so... But I did not get very good sleep last night base because of that. And my eyes, for some reason, are very sensitive to light today. So I tried turning my lights on in here. Immediately gave me a headache. And I was like, I can't do that. So, no no, no camera today because of, of light. Sorry, chat. I know you want to see my purty, purty face. Can't see my purty face today. I'm hiding it from you. Not allowed. <laughs> All right, where's my schematic cannon? There it is, right here. Put the schematic cannon in here. We got our gunpowder. We got our empty schematic. Um, let's see. <sighs> because of how slow everything is at moving things around, we'll have to figure that out. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Unfocused. Seven. Dab causing five hundred bits to fall Unfocused. into chosen's hands. What is dead may never die. Oh, the salt horn comes. Oh, not the salt horn. Hey. Thank you, my dude. Unfocused. <laughs> Thank you again for the salty bits. Oh God. Hey, hey. I'll find where you're hiding one day. One day. I keep sending waves. Waves of salty bits my way. <laughs> Look, you got a 5k bit badge. Look at that. Fancy. <clears throat> Loki Frost is the same. My fam and my whole family is sick but me. Oh god. No. That's never good. It was never good. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and get this set up uh, elsewhere. Uh, by the way, last time we were looking at this and we were wondering if the schematic cannon can place its resources down um, from this. Like, can it detect that casings are nearby? I don't know if that's the case. That's a really bad joke. But we, we, we will probably be able to test today. I gotta pick up two contraptions. This one. And then I've gotta pick up this contraption. All right. I'll keep that contraption in my inventory. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to head back to the main base. And we need to prep up 
everything we can that we know we're going to need for this setup. For two of these, actually. Probably put them all in this bag. So we'll try and get everything we can put in this bag. We already have some of the ingredients in here. We also might as well empty out some of these other bags, too. Josh says, um, hope the chosen household gets better soon. Oh my god, I do too. It's no fun when all the kids are sick, man. Or like, well, so my kids are doing better now, but now my wife's like sick. And it's not fun at all when the wife gets sick. That really sucks. But it's only temporary. Being sick is only temporary. I just put a bag in here, didn't I? One of these days I'll actually sleep in game. Can't believe we're dealing with these things again. Uh, why can't you make upgrades for the backpack? They are fully upgraded to my current time, like to where I'm at. They're all upgraded to brass. And that's as far as I have. <clears throat> can't upgrade them any farther. Did you have a nice trip? We'll see you next fall. Oh my god. Jeez. How's it going, Weary? Good to see you. I know I put a bag in there. I'm pretty sure I did. There it is. Nice and organized. If only we had wireless access to this darn thing. Why? Like, why did that get removed? I don't understand. Why can we not have wireless access to our main storage? Is that to make you want to progress to applied logistics? Is that why? Did they give us wireless access in applied logistics? God, I hope so. I ask all these questions. <laughs> I should have asked them yesterday when Fortnite Pro was in here. Should ask, uh, ask more questions next time. <clears throat> okay, so for this setup, um, I'm pretty sure our clip book, right? Did, this is a materials list. Okay, so we need portable interface. Uh, this was where we need 77 mechanical drills, and I'm pretty sure my current minecart contraption uh, does not have that in it. I have 80, so that's enough for one. And I need what, 77? Oh boy, I need to get a bigger calculator. My fat fingers, man, they don't, I have this tiny little Casio little thing. Tiny little thing. Solar cell, little, little tiny little dollar Casio calculator that I use for calculations all the time. And goodness. My fingers are so tiny. Or the 
buttons are so tiny for my big old fingers. All right. Let's see. 27. 154. That's <laughs> what we're going to need. In total. We still need like 75, 74. Uh, why not use the built-in calc with Windows? I find that I find that that's it's painful sometimes to use. Does that make Does that make sense? I can't be the only one that like thinks that loading up the calculator app on the computer sometimes is more tedious than just having a physical calculator in your desk. Am I wrong there? Am I weird? I don't think I'm weird. I don't feel like that's a weird thing, but it, it could be. Like, I would have to find, for first of all, unless I had it pinned to my taskbar, I'd have to find the calculator app first. Then I have to wait for it to load. And by that time, I would already have had the, the answer on the physical one, because it's just here. It's not, I don't have to, I don't have to click three, three or four things to load it up. I don't know. You are weird, but not a bad weird. Okay. I don't know. I, I use the calculator all the time. Especially when I'm streaming and I'm in an application like, like, uh, this right here to load up another window and to go through that whole process and make sure it's, it's on the appropriate window. And like, I have three monitors, but OBS is in one of them. And the entire uh, Twitch dashboard is in the, uh, the other one on the right. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't need a monitor for it. Please have, for the love of God, have enough iron. Okay, so um, we need 75. I'm going to have enough copper. I am. Okay. Good, 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 good. I should be able to easily make. Easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. So 450 of the iron. So that should be enough, I think. Yeah, that should be exactly enough. Plus this one extra drill. You have your old high school cap calculator T84 next to my computer. It's always been there and I keep, yeah, keep using it. So yeah, I mean, that's, I don't need no like T I don't need no like mini computer sitting on my desk, but yeah. Personally, I like it. I don't, I always find that loading up, for example, the calculator, like on your phone, that's always a pain. That's always a pain to me. I don't know why. I find that finding apps on the phone is also a pain. Maybe in the future, it's just going to know what you want immediately based on everything that it observes and hears around you. And whenever you pull your phone out, it will know at that very instant what app you actually want to have loaded and will have it preloaded ready to go. Oh, it'll be fantastic. One of these days we will be there. You know we you know we will. You know we will. 100%. I'd rather not. It doesn't bother me one bit. People saying they'd rather not have a phone in their pocket uh, you know, 20 years ago. Look at them now. Now they can't get rid of it, right? Or like it's it's amazing. That that actually scares you. It doesn't scare me at all. It doesn't scare me one bit. Mm. 
Not one bit. All right, I think that's enough, right? That's enough drills. Um, so what else do we need? Uh, we need uh, we need deployers and item vaults, which I have item vaults in here. Yeah, that should be plenty. And then deployers. What is Psy short for? I don't actually know. Um, I don't remember what it, I think it says it in the book though. When you like open up Psy, when you hit the C key to open Psy. Psy's not in this, right? No. Chosen, were you smart in school? When it comes to math, yes. And I don't think it was just because I was good at math. It was just, I'm, I just like logic based stuff. Apparently, as you guys can definitely tell, I like solving problems in math, it gave me problems to solve. And I really liked that. But I mean, that was years ago. You, you tend to forget things when I took, uh, went back to college for a semester. It was, it was actually kind of refreshing and fun to re go back and relearn things. The kissy kissy as they're called in the biz. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I, um, I got good grades. Uh, drama was the only one I didn't do so great in. Yeah, I'm not, not, wasn't so good at drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I just didn't get along with my drama teacher. That was why. Yep, didn't get along with my drama teacher at all. Uh, yeah. I think that was the only class I nearly failed. Outside of that, I had B's and A's. Uh, except for one semester of calculus. Or, or sorry, uh, trig. God, when I took trig, oh my god. Trig did me in, man. Chosen you're in your final semester for your electrical engineering bachelor's degree. So I understand liking the logic side of things. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Solving problems is a, is fun for me. Deploy your item vault mechanical. Let's see. That's why I like it. This game. I mean, I really like this game. All right, I think that's it. And then we just need to define our schematics. Uh, I think what I can do is I probably need to make two schematics. Like we have this empty schematic, but I need to make another one. That way I can just assign both. Do that schematic and then I can pop out of here. All right. Get a lever. Now we have everything. Also, I couldn't find anything online that said whether or not the schematic cannon actually runs and can detect the these things, like these being nearby. I didn't see anything about that. But maybe it does work. You would probably love Satisfactory in Factorio. We spent 40 hours in Factorio. I think we got to like stage seven. We built a massive factory in Factorio. Like our tier one, I think tier one building was like six stories tall. Six or seven stories tall. We had all rubber and stuff automated, like all that fun jazz. We ended up getting our jet pack. It was really nice. Electric pack. Sorry, not Factorio, Satisfactory. Yeah, Satisfactory. Did I say Factorio? I, I'm not, I, I tried Factorio and I just couldn't get into it. <clears throat> I couldn't get into it. I, I don't like the enemies attacking. That I didn't like. I did not like the enemies attacking Factorio.
Chosen, would you rather have an earth earthquake hit your house or a tsunami? Earthquake, 100%. All the way, earthquake. Every day, I would choose earthquake over tsunami. Air day. Water is so bad. All right. Um... Water is so bad. Okay, let's set this to Geo Wheel. Alright, then we can set this one up. Don't forget to hydrate. I'm drinking coffee right now. If that's counted as hydrating. <laughs> okay. If we set this up on the side here, how does that affect that one? Would that also be on the side? Okay, it will. So yeah, we'll have this facing towards this, uh, this village. <clears throat> okay. Now we did find that we really don't have to replace anything. Like we don't have to really do any modifications to this area. Once we have the schematic set in place, it automatically places everything for us and will replace the blocks. We just need to give it some power, uh, which I probably will have to go get my Starbuncle, but let's go ahead and place the schematic cannon. Give it some gunpowder. Uh, we need to place the schematic in. Uh, let's see, what's the best way to... Okay. So this is it. Um... It's, it's facing the correct direction. We just need to get it in place. There it is. That's the appropriate level. And there it is. And uh, now we're in the perfect position. So it is where it needs to be. Schematics in. Gunpowder's in. We don't need the clipboard, but I did want to place... Uh, let's place this contraption down. Is this our... Oh, great. I think this is the... This is the right one. Let's see if this detects the inventory. Oh. Okay. Is the schematic loaded? So does that mean that it's it detects everything? You were just forced to watch an ad Atlas Earth, one of my coworkers. CGI. Luigi was giving you brain tumors. Wait, what? Chosen, would you want to live in your Minecraft world for a day? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, they said you need a portable storage interface? Oh, never mind. We'll just do this then.
Mm, all right, I'm still, why doesn't the material checklist go through though? Oh, now, now it works. Weird. Right, there's that. What else was on the list? Uh, item vaults, and then andesite. And then I put my glue back in there, I did not. Oh shoot, did I leave my glue? I left my glue back at the base. Every time, chat. We'll get this figured out one of these days. <laughs> One of these days I'll get it figured out, I think. Chosen Maybe. is always a pleasure to in. <laughs> Book Daddy! Thank you so much for the prime for three months, man. Always a pleasure tuning in. Good to have you back. Appreciate that, Mammy. Goodness. Take out the toolboxes and place them down. Mmm. Mmm. I can totally see where having the uh, the interface would work, possibly. The item vaults. I still gotta go get the glue, because it glues it all together, which is just fantastic. Why am I missing? Come on, Chosen, where's your brain at today? Use your brain, there they are. I think I just need glue. And deployers, apparently. I thought I put the deployers in here. Out of there. They clearly were like, we're right here. We're so, everything's so close. I'll just make a fresh one. And then Andersite. And her site. Made it in. What are we working on today? We're continuing our expansion of the ore, or we're continuing our our start to the ore production or ingot production for the main materials so we can fully have brass automated and everything like that um so yeah we got we got just about everything going did you plan the base on the geode location or is just a coincidence this is just one of the geodes so this is a geode we just searched for these so we have a geode here. Our redstone geode was over here. Um, we have a we have two geodes that are right here. We spawned here, <laughs> and then this is another geode. So like all of our main geodes are actually relatively close. Use your structure compass to find these. So they actually weren't too far away. All right, I think we have everything. All right, let's go. I think it replaces the blocks, right? And does it... It puts the blocks it replaces in the inventory, I think. Probably the reason for the gunpowder cost. Look at it go.
It's so good. I love this thing. Okay. That one's ready to go. We'll just keep this backpack, right? Because that's the one Dolliver working stuff in it. <clears throat> and we just need to pick this up. All right, take that with us. All right, that one's placed in. We just got to clean it up. Um, <clears throat> let's head over here to this one. It's amazing with the time of the bottle. Oh, it is. It's so fast. All right, and then this one. Let's let me think. How did we just do this one? We um. The town we had it facing this way. Okay. Yeah, we want to be on the back corner here. All right, schematic cannon. Here we go again. You actually don't need that much gunpowder. I'm giving you way, been giving you way too much gunpowder. Uh, load the schematic. Let's set our schematic first. All right, so we are close. I believe this needs to go up. This is the level. There we go. We not. Hey. I'm schematicking here. Darn you. All right. Okay, that is the position right there. Okie dokie. Schematic in. It is ready. <clears throat> Let's put our checklist in just to make sure we got all of our items. Are we good? We're good. We're ready to go. Ready to go. You thought the gunpowder was literally because it's a cannon? Well, it does swap blocks. And so I guess it needs to come at some sort of cost. Maybe that's what, that's how my way of thinking. <clears throat> Otherwise, you could just use this infinitely for other tasks. Possibly. Look at it glue. Oh, this shoots the glue. I love that. All right, there we go. It consumes gunpowder for each block pay placed. Yeah, it tells you how many shots, so like it it's a it holds a lot. The thing is is like you can't get it back. So once you put it in there and then as soon as you break the machine, it does use durability on the glue, yeah. That it does. Definitely does. Okay. So all we got to do now is get this a little cleaned up. We got to clean up both of them or all of them here. We should be ready to rock and roll and start working on trains, baby trains. We need to kind of get an idea of a train depot for each of these because they're going to kind of have their own like train station, right? That leads to each of them. And then we could probably just do the processing over here. It makes no sense for us to not do it over here. 
this is our train hub, so we could like have this area back here be our ore processor. That wouldn't be too bad to do. My rail in here, didn't I? We might have to kick back on our uh, our production of train tracks, but we'll see how that goes. I don't know if we have to just yet, but... That's four of them done, though. That's kind of amazing. Okay, and then our glue, which we put in here. All right. Get this cleaned up. Schematic a geode station. Oh, true, we could definitely schematic, like once we have our first initial station set up, we could totally schematic a station in. <laughs> oh God, we're gonna be using the schematic cannon so much, but it, it is helpful for these like repetitive tasks. Honestly, <clears throat> like if we need more redstone, we could just like build another redstone factory using our current schematic of what we already have set up. We know it works. We should really start making modular setups so that way we could just, we can modularize everything into a massive factory down the road. Just utilizing the resources needed. That would be that would be a good idea, I think. It looks like we're stored up on blocks. I need to get that out of there. Let's see, anything else in here that needs to go? That needs to go. Don't need those. Is the block in the middle of all the toolboxes are just stone? Have you thought about changing? it to a schematic cannon you know the middle block I think it was just glued here and so this just ended up picking up the block that was there um which is funny because it still touches it I guess um if I put the schematic cannon there like that wouldn't be a bad idea maybe it would retain its gunpowder if I did that actually a fantastic idea you're a genius <laughs> it looks kind of cool, too. You suggested that last stream? Oh, I, I must have missed it. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Definitely missed that. I love me some parkour. All right. <laughs> um, Eb says, uh, hey, Cody, love your stream and videos. Thanks for doing all the good quality content. I'm a huge fan. Hey, welcome. It's okay. Probably was too chatty. Uh, well... <sighs> That and sometimes I just I get hyper focused on what I'm what I'm working on, especially with this mod, and well, that's to be expected with this pack. And I just don't always read the chat. Yeah, it's my fault. I can only be good at so many things, and reading chat not always the best. <laughs> not always the best. 
yeah, streamer brain. Yeah, if that's that if that's the excuse I get to use, I'm gonna use it. Okay, I'll use it. <laughs> what do we need to work on now? So we're making we need to make a train station. <clears throat> so that means we're gonna need some more of the copper or the uh, brass brass casings. Okay, so let's head back real quick. I'm gonna have to grab some of the precision mechanisms. Because we need to make a few things. I use I lose about twenty IQ at least when you hit the go live button. Oh god. I feel that way when I hit the record button. Like, oh my god, what's wrong with me? Okay. So smart observer, we need these threshold switches. We're gonna be using a lot of threshold switches. This is where I think we need like stone cutters on a stick. <laughs> I feel like that's needed. All right. So there's the brass pieces. Um, put those in there for now. And I have some of the other construction materials. Let me think. What else? That would leave me with a whole 20 left. Oh, God. Some packs, packs have the uh, portable stone cutter. I wish it was just on a stick. I mean, I could always pick it up and take it with me, but... Mm. I could make a backpack upgrade, but here's the thing. Is these are the only... I only have two backpacks with upgrades available on them. And I could have one that's a stone cutter backpack, technically. I would need a stone cutter and probably a smithing table. Backpack upgrade. In the future, we're, we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. We'll have those little conveniences. But not yet. Not yet, chat. <clears throat> we'll get there. All right. Train station time. Um, We could go ahead and get some building blocks. Of course, I'm, I'm I love my andesite blocks, so I'm going to continue to build my framing out with them. All right, let's go do this. I guess there's only one place to start working on this, and that's our gold one, since it's like so convenient for us right there. It's so perfect right here. It just fits perfect. There we go. Okay. So we need to figure out how far out we need to be from this thing. And judging by this particular setup here, being that this could be an interface, right? Like this is an interface. We probably will need it to be out this far. What's the contraption mechanisms? Uh -oh. Three years crazy we Good. Lord of Wolves, my dude. Welcome back with a 36 months, dude. Jeebus. Three years. Already three years. You know what? It's, it, I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, well, yesterday. I was like, man, I remember I moved. I think we moved in like 2019 into our current house. I'm like, oh my god, it's 2024. We've been here for five years. That's crazy to me. 
As long as we lived in our rent house, I we've lived in this house now. Like time just flies, like ten years. But man, has have has my life changed in a span of ten years dramatically. Dramatically. What an adventure. Now, here's the thing I'm wondering. Because. Okay. I can input. No, this one's based on redstone. We need to output here, and then we need to specify to never let redstone out of here. So we'll just have to have a filter. Yeah, we'll have to have a filter. We're getting old, man. Hey, I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that. What are you doing this to me? I want to think about that. I'm dreading the day when my daughter's like, Dad, you're old. I'm like, I ain't old yet. Get out of here. She just wishes she was as cool as me. <laughs> We can use this because that's going to output. So we'll just have that spinning that way. And then we'll put our kissy kissy thing here. Like that. And we'll have two of them on this train, I guess. Your daughter already says that and you're 38. <laughs> oh no. I don't want to deal with that yet. Okay. I should probably sleep, shouldn't I? Oh, I can't. It's daytime. So this should be... Uh, this will work for, like, the train setup, I think. But what I'm concerned about is I guess I'll just have to set it up to... For the train to stay at each station for a certain period of time, or... I don't know if I can specify it to only unload a certain amount of redstone or something like that. I don't know how I'm supposed to go about doing that. But I do know I'll have to set a filter on this to not let redstone come out of the system. Yeah, I can I can set a, a threshold. Yeah, that's what I might have to do here is I have this threshold set to as low as it goes, so I'm assuming that... But if it's if it's stuck in its position and using it, then it becomes another problem, right? I'm like, wait until you have like 40 redstone dust left. You can do that. We'll have to see when we go to define schedules, because that's probably what's going to make this work. Okay, um, with that in mind, we need to... Uh, we probably need to go back real quick to our main train line and see how our train is actually set up. Or actually, we should probably build our train over here. See, so I'll need some tracks. I got 21,000 of them. Jesus.
Maybe slow the uh, the belt down more. We yeah, the belt speed isn't set yet. Uh, we'll we'll figure that out as we move along. I think I only want like one or two going into it at once, like before the train wraps around. But we'll see. This doesn't have to be a fast process. All right, train casings. We need train stations. That's the sturdy. Compass. Okay, and then we have our bogeys. I need train controls. Train controls, which is a lever. Seat. The bare minimum. Oh dang, it's already been a month since you started playing Create Arcane Engineering. I only know this because of my uh my tier one sub is gone. Oh no! Please. Well, I mean we stream three days a week, so like it goes by pretty quick. Like Yeah, it's been a month, but like only three days each week is not a lot, technically. So I mean it is a lot, but if I was doing it every day, that'd be a different story be a much more insane world there's a lot of in between in this pack I will say that okay uh, I think that's all we need for a train right <clears throat> we can be the conductor and we just need our glue I think that's it Now we just need to figure out how this needs to be positioned. Well, I think you're the follows. So like that. Right. That should work. I mean, we could do it a different way. No, we can't. That's a single block in the middle. Mm -mm. It's got to be like this. So the train's going to have to be somewhere. I think right through here. This doesn't have to be a big train or anything like that. Like crazy size. Something like this, maybe? Play... What is that? Crack, thank you so much for gifting... Plays VR. V plays... Ver? Plays Ver, I think. <laughs> May supposed to be V... VR. Ver. <laughs> Craig, thank you so much. Huge up, yeah. Plays Ver. Plays... Plays Ver. There we go, I got it right. Thank you for letting me know. I struggle. I struggle, man. I, I do. Usernames. Names are hard. For me, anyways. Probably make this a little bit longer for now. All right. So, if we place down our station... Let's just assume that our train, let's assume everything is going to be handled on the right, which is kind of frustrating because I think we're going to have to come at this first because the interfaces over here are also on the right. Yes, they are. 
Okay. We could we could also handle this differently too. We may not have to have a train that's this tall. We could just use one input and have multiple belts leading to that input. The inputting and outputting from both sides. That way it's all done in one fell swoop, but it could lead to another problem. Mm. It's frustrating. I'm figuring it out, Chad. I'm figuring it out. I think we should go with one. <clears throat> we should go with one setup here. Yeah. That has dual inputs. Yeah, I think that's a great, I think that's, that's going to be what needs to happen. So when I, I'm, the, okay, I, I'm trying to like, I can't really, I don't know why I can't say it properly. I'll just have to build it and then you'll see. Okay, we'll use the bottom as the the port here. And there's going to be two imports that go into this. Uh, we're then going to have our belts. That run through here. Um... This size should work. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Assassin of Legends, welcome in, cuz. How you doing, bud? You with the great work? I am trying. I'm trying, trying, trying. What are we doing today? We are... Trying to get trains set up for this. That is a thing. Uh, size can have another block between them. It, it changes anything. You're talking about these. There can be a block between the portable interfa uh, storage interfaces. Yes, but it doesn't. Yeah, and it doesn't affect anything. Mandy, welcome. Okay. <clears throat> I think this needs to be shorter. Um, that was a whoopsie on my part. We're trying to keep this as compact as we can. Right? Um, now, I only need to detect the storage. I only need to detect the storage for redstone and send this a signal. And that's what I don't remember. Does this lock it? It does. Okay, great. So we only need it on this side. And so we will set that threshold for redstone. And that will be set as low as it can go. Like that, 1%, 1%. And then invert. So when it hits 1%, it will lock this. This will need a inversion on it. Because one will be spinning one way, one will be spinning the other. Like that, or however I plan on setting it up. Probably put the water wheel underneath if we want. That'll make it nice and compact for us. If we did it that way. Right, we could have the water wheel technically underneath this block. Um, okay. And then the belts. Like this. 
This will need to be a brass. God, the distance is so low. That'll be outputting as brass. This will be inputting. But we need to block redstone. I can't do that just yet. I forgot to grab that. Some people like to have their interfaces two blocks apart instead of one. Um, you, I don't think you can put your block, you can't put your interfaces like this. But you can put them, usually they're spaced one block. Right? Like that. You can do, you can do more than this. <clears throat> You can have up to two spaces between? Oh my, I didn't know that. I'm learning something new. Does it show that in the uh, the description here? Because it's always shown one block. That's why I've always assumed it was just one block. So we can power that to disconnect as well. Hmm. That's interesting. So maybe instead of powering this down, the belt here, we could just send this redstone signal wirelessly to shut off our portable interface that's going to be down here. Because we're going to have two portable interfaces for our train here. The sending and receiving interface. Or I could, actually I can, I can do the same interface, no. I want them separate because I want one to still maintain working while the other one shut off. <clears throat> that's my, uh, that's my idea, at least. Call me crazy, chat. I would actually appreciate it if you did. Much, would much appreciate chat. You can go ahead and send that hate my way. I don't know if this is a genius idea or this is a poor idea, but... What I'm thinking is instead of maybe locking this, we instead go redstone and then we, uh, we apply our link like that chosen lunatic. Yeah. I'm going to go crazy jet, crazy jet bananas. And then we'll just set whatever code we want on here and put this in receiving mode and then this one needs to be now switched to normal so this is the normal mode the problem I have with this though is as it's going into the machine it will probably be actively being used thus would never actually shut off Why are we turning one off to begin with? So this train is going to send in redstone into this machine, which is going to place redstone on this block. It's going to use the redstone. Then this is actually going to be sending out the blocks that this is stored in, which is going to be the Akram, which is gold. And so I don't want to send a massive amount of redstone into this machine. I only want to send a, a portion of my redstone. And so I would have to define a certain amount. And unless I can do that with train signals, which I don't know just yet, um, we'll have to figure this out. I, I don't know. But the way I'm thinking of it is this will detect the current status of this contraption and will let me know how full it is of redstone. And then if it's above a certain point, then... It should be able to do this, but unfortunately move to the upper lane. I can't when it's set this low. I can't change that. Move to upper lane at zero. Unless I let more in. We'll have to see this should be. 
We can make these belts incredibly fast, so that we can make this a very fast process. We'll we'll have to see, but either way, this should work. Um. And then we'll block out redstone. And this is a nice little uh, compact interface here. Sorry, Gemini. Thank you for the 200 beats. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now how to get the train in here. That's a different story. Unfocused. Oh, God. Started up the helicopter at, 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 to give chosen 500 bitties. Shaker of salt. So, oh, no. Where can we hide the salt? Oh. Dude, I, I was looking for the darn salt this morning. My kids... Oh, my kids think everything needs salt on it. And I always put salt and, and pepper on my eggs in the morning. Like, oh, and it's like one of the grinders. Like, you just, you just spin one spin per egg. It's like a perfect amount of salt. But the, the kids take it, and then I have to search for it in the morning when I'm making breakfast. Like, what? Where in the world is my salt shaker? Mmm, salt and pepper eggs, dude. That's that's the perfect thing on eggs. Salt and pepper, you're good. Salt, pepper, fry that bad boy. I uh, I cook two sausage, and then when I'm done cooking the sausage, crack them eggs on that bad boy. Oh, it's beautiful. Parmesan is good too. Parmes Parmesan? Wait, Par Parmesan on the eggs? I've never had that. That's I always find it weird when, like, the egg is just slightly sweet tasting. You're like, why? Why is this sweet tasting? It's, like, weird. The yolk will be sweet. Kind of interesting. You heard the bot. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's... Parmesan. You said Parmesan, right? Bot doesn't lie. You heard the bot. I mean, yeah. Interesting. I'll have to try it. I might try that. I can try that tomorrow. Like, are you talking like Parmesan, the, the, like the thicker cheese or like the Parmesan powder cheese? <laughs> I guess you can call it the powdered Parmesan. I don't really know what this stuff's called. We we call it stinky cheese. Any cheese is good cheese. True. Any true, cheese true, true. is good cheese. Craig, thank you for all the bits and unfocused again. Thank you. For them salty bits. Appreciate that. 500 bits, my dude. You call it stanky cheese. Yeah. You call it stanky cheese. I call it stinky cheese. Shredded parm. Yeah, I might try that. I'll try it. And then I'll get back on Monday and I'll be like, well, I tried Parmesan on the cheat on the eggs. And I'll I'll let you know. I'm not afraid to try new things. Not afraid. I might love it, and that may be how I want it. Forever now, you may have you may have actually ruined my my mornings now by completely obstructing my flow, my normal flow. How could you? Wait, wait, wait. we want we want this train going this way, right? Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. We want this on the right side of the train. Why is it not prompting me for the bogey? Oh, wait, I have to click to build the train. That's right. What am I? What am I doing? Is this not a bogey? Oh, it doesn't, it didn't let me pick.
see, do I have a stair or anything like that? Good old fashioned train right there. <clears throat> and then Actually, how do I want this? I might I want to try it like this. I gotta like get up here. That looks so goofy. We're gonna make some skinny trains. Trains on a diet. Honestly, that's more than enough storage. <laughs> that's more than enough storage. That's adorable. This is a do it's an adorable train. Good old fashioned trains. <laughs> Sounds like an album name. <clears throat> this needs a, a scoop on the front, but I don't have a crafting table with me. Oh yeah, I do. What am I talking about? <laughs> it's the idea, right, that matters. It's all about the idea. Oh, you can't place a block any lower than that. That's interesting. It's because of the track? I wonder if you could build it, like, outside of the track and that would work? It's, a, it's so cute. It's so cute looking. This will help me get up onto it. I want to build these trains fancier down the road. But for now... This works. And then we need to glue. Uh, and then I need my portable interfaces, which should be... Oh, well, um, uh, we can get the train built. We can just move it over. Looks like those little woody trains. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. These are like little cute trains. I mean, we could have like maybe more than one. Of these on the back. Then that would be about the size. No. I feel like just one would be good. But we do have to get our interfaces on the sides of these. Hmm. Huh. Actually. Do this. Let's do... An interface here and our interface here. We just put a little storage right here. Storage right here. I don't know it's three blocks right now, but I'm going to move it over. And then we could put some slabs on the top. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> it looks so goofy. Getting creative with it. <laughs> it's kind of adorable, honestly. At that point, a three by three item vault, but I can't I can't hide the portable interfaces in the three by three like that. Does anyone else have the Thomas the Tank Engine theme stuck in their head? You know, I I don't actually know the... I don't think I... I'd have to he hear probably the first part of it. And then it'd be like, oh, I remember that. I'd have to hear like the first, first bit. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Adorable, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's move our rail system. Um I need to move this over here so I can get it into position. So to get it one block away, the rail would need to be right here. It would need to be moved over one. So it need to be here. <clears throat> okay, nope. So yeah, the train needs to be right here. And then I don't even, I don't remember how many blocks blocks forward the train station needs to be, but we need to we need to mark that. I think it's right here. Okay, let's do That's perfect. <laughs> look at that. Would you look at that? All right, so from the main block, we'll have a reference. This is one, two, three, four, five, six from the center. Actually, we should probably leave that rail system rail here. Just so we have a place to move our train temporarily. All right, what do you think, chat? What do you think of this? Is that going to work? I think that'll work perfect. That's going to work great. Now, hopefully our logistics stuff actually works. 
Because that's going to be the big problem. All right, do we schematic this? My concern is with the redstone is the deployer may keep using it, which would reset the signal. So, here's the thing though, can we not, can we detect when the train's here? Yeah, the, the, yeah. That's why I'm wondering if, if not, there is this thing in the pack that allows us to control the contraptions. And so what I could do is I could link the deployer to it. And then that would let me shut off the deployer while the train is at the station. Um, on the contraption. Um, I think, uh, what is it called? A contraption controls. I don't know how I give it redstone signal, like how I can... Can I set it externally? You can use a train observer for that. What's the train observer do? That's a with a 25 stream streak. Welcome back. Ooh, what if we just, in this case, then... When the train is here, we just use it... Like... Huh. To shut off the belt? Like to shut off the um, the funnel here, so it will still send like a couple of redstone in, right onto the belt at a time, and we could adjust that by uh, using a, a brass funnel. And then what we do is to control it, we use that redstone signal to shut that off while the train's present, and then as soon as the train leaves, the redstone will kick back on, allowing the items into the contraption, then resetting with the amount that it has. Thus simplifying this way, way more. That simplifies it way more. Yeah, I think we can do that. And that's, and it, it, it emits a redstone signal, right? So yeah, when the train's present, it emits a redstone signal, locking it. And while it's here, it stays locked. 
until it leaves. And then once it's left the area, which we can have it right here, once it's left the area, it'll kick back on. That, 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 that should be easy. Okay. That actually makes my life so much easier. Look at me learning redstone. I have I don't know anything about redstone chat. I am an absolute noob at redstone. Where'd I put my sturdy casings? I... Oh, I did not do that chant. One... That frame drop? Yeah, the that area is pretty rough with frames. This place? Yeah, you're bound to get whiplash, especially when we look over here. Yep, yeah, that's to be expected. Speaking of redstone production, by the way, we should probably pop over here real quick. Just make sure redstones are flowing in. Are we still good here? We're still good. I still don't know why this was like so full. Oh well. We need to get a better cobble gin one of these days. What portal was that? Uh, these are ours portals from Mars Nouveau. Yeah, I think a train observer for the win here. It's going to be nice. We select that. And if we place the train observer like right above this. Whoa, whoa hold on. And that's all we need. So long as it emits a redstone signal on the bottom. Uh, will we be able to put the train there and, like, see it happening? Yep. See, it's off. Good, good, good. Simple redstone logistics. And I'm learning about trains. The igneous extruder is available once you reach plastic mechanism, I think. Oh, yeah, that'll be so nice. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, once we have an igneous extruder, oh, game changer right there. I hate cobblestone gins, man. What's the train station for? This is for all of our ore automation. So I am currently setting up for automating every single location. So these, this will be running underneath here. Okay. So should I, am I able to just copy and paste this, I'm guessing? I could, I should be able to just, 
build this exact thing in every, like, we should be able to just schematic it. Believe. Able to call favorite cobble gin is the one that Malum enables. Malum. All right, so we need to copy this. Uh, let's grab this. So all we're copying is up to this point and then this point. I wonder if it copies like the train signals and everything. If everything else is to be done, I'm assuming it does. Geostation is now saved. Now we're just going to need these few items. All right, let's go. Let's get music. Uh... All right. So uh, what I'm going to do, chat, is I am going to go to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. I will see you guys shortly. Go ahead and head back over here real quick. Because uh, we're going to have to schematic table four things to get them built in, or three of them. So we'll be heading back here anyways. Cogger's over there looking sad. God, the frame rate. All right, I will be right back, chat. Enjoy the be right back screen. Keep in mind, by the way, uh, whenever you do clip something... Oh, God. When, whenever you do clip something... Uh, there's a chance for it to be on this B-Ray back screen. And it's best if you post those clips that you make during the stream. If something interesting happens, post it here in chat. Best way to get people to click on it and it'll end up here. Uh, you should roll some ads while you're away in the meantime. Yeah, I, I will do that. So maybe it'll help postpone some other future ads. All right. I will be back, chat. See you in just a minute. Oh, God. But I've got to figure this out. i got to figure this out, chat. This is now a puzzle. A puzzle solving simulator. Can I use gantries? Evaporate. Drop their oh cat and 1,000 bits exploded Come from it. 45 bits. Meow. Don't worry. My Meow. prism with 1,000 bits. Meow. Bada. Oh, Bada I boom. need to get him away from my farm. Back over here. Back over here. Here we go. Oh, hey. Whoa. Oh, my God. There's so many down there. same page and like yeah be nice <clears throat> i lose track all the time i think i guess still no i can't that's a lot of Some clips are very random, yes. The thing is, those are the most viewed clips.
Is this it? I called that sand. That was totally gravel. Oh my God, it's violet. Yes, we found it. My brain, man. The old PCI check the chat message type. Um, it checks the, the, the ID for the redemption. It's not hard to, to do it that way, so I kind of like using it. I know you can just use the name of the thing, but I changed the names of them. So it's kind of actually nice in this using it this way. So now the train should stop if there's a train in the middle, the green area. Speaking of trains crashing, dang, we'll switch to toggle on and off our other machine. Ups can go through. That's very interesting. We're going to be making hopefully a farm that's based around this. <laughs> I don't think that was ever meant to be seen. <laughs> oh God. Things have happened, right? So can trains go oh my God, that's epic. That's epic, bro. Yes, let's go. <laughs> That's so cool. Please give me a good artifact. Give me running shoes. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. Give me running shoes. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta replace my kitten slippers for these though. These will be so good around the base. Not for caving, but for around the base. Enjoy it? Either you're enjoying the pack or you just enjoy my my suffering. I don't honestly know sometimes. I feel like it's, yeah, it's definitely the suffering. All right, yeah, I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, I get it. This is suffering. What spell or enchantments on my sword? Uh, so we have touch, freeze, delay, cold snap, amplify, delay, cold snap, amplify, delay, cold snap, amplify two. It's a powerful sword and it's a powerful combo. Do you have the one mod? I do have the one that checks for not frame lag, but F. Oh no. <laughs> He's just laying on my dead body. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. We'll fix it. We'll fix the chat. We got this. I needed obsidian anyways. While well, we have backup lava. What in the world? It went that way, so I'm thinking. Dr driver has gone missing. No! God. It's about half, 
half the amount of people that's even in here just chilling. See, th the hype trains must do. S oh my god, so much going on. The hype trains must like promote the yet. stream or something. Because I notice when they're going on, that the viewers increase while the trains are going on. It's weird. <laughs> yep, it has a penis now. Yep, exactly what that is. It's all shaft. Anywhere there's ever going to be machines. Okay. Oh, that's right. The player heads on the armor stands. Oh yeah, we can put we can put anything on the armor stands. Uh, and there's two per armor stand, so. We can use a repeater. switch to toggle on and off our other machine. So now the train should stop if there's a train in the middle, the green area. Speaking of trains crashing. Dang. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's just laying on my dead body. Oh no. Oh no. Please give me a good artifact. Give me running shoes. What? Yes! <laughs> yes! Give me running shoes. <laughs> All right, Chad, oh, I'm man, back. I got to replace my kitten slippers for these, though. Oh, no. Not the kitten slippers. Those are actually really good shoes. Running shoes. All right, I'm back. Good to have you back. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, I didn't miss too much going on in chat. Oh man, Tortero lover, by the way, I, I love how I just completely showed my, my uh, southern speech there. Tortero, Tortero lover. Thank you so much, by the way, for the seven stream streak. Welcome back. Goodness. It's train time, isn't it? Oh God. It's train time. You was watching some of this pack and you've seen that you can make your own infinite lava pool, oil, and even plastic. Um, they seem to have done. It's possible to make any liquid infinite for a hose pulley. Just curious if it's possible to do with other fluids from the pack. Any fluid, unless it's blacklisted, should be able to become infinite if there's 10,000 source blocks of it. Yes. So technically, if you pumped out like 10,000 source blocks of iron, gold, copper, those things should also become infinite. You just need 10,000 blocks worth of it. So um, I, I don't remember how many millibuckets a full like how much 
I'd have to look. Like. Like, for example, a bucket of molten iron. I don't know if you can place this on the ground. But it requires one full bucket worth. Which I believe is nine ingots worth. So you would need... 10,000 actual blocks of iron to make an infinite pool of iron. Oh wait, does it tell you here? It tells you. I guess it does tell you, right? So you need one block, two ingots, and one nugget. So it's actually more than that. It's a 22 by 22 by 22 area. Yeah, you got to account for the, yeah, the volume. Well, I guess it would be the area, right? Yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's fine for fluid. Like, we have an infinite lava pool, so I'm not worried about that. And somebody said that there's, in the pack, there's already, like, infinite oil pools. You just have to find them, right? This is an infinite lava pool underneath here. And so the reason it's infinite is because there's 10,000 lava source blocks down here. Um, but yeah, any fluid you can make infinite. Any fluid. Water is already infinite, technically. Um, so water actually is... You don't need to do a pump with water because water is infinite like this. Right, so this is an infinite water right here. So water's already free. Lava's not though. But yes, anything you pump down there. And plastic may be easy. It may not be too bad to get uh, that many millibuckets of plastic, depending on what the process of making plastic is. But somebody was telling me oil, from what I know, Oil is, like, there's apparently infinite oil pools, reserves, that we have to get access to. And so that'll be something that we have to, we'll end up doing at some point. We just have to find them, and there's probably a structure for them. Try to call your uh, apartment manager about trouble heating issues, but no luck. Time to freeze up. Do you have a heated blanket? If not, they're about 30 bucks at the, like, Walmart. And that might save your day. Like 30, 30, 40 dollars for a heated blanket. You plug that bad boy in and you're golden. Especially if you, if you temporarily have eating issues right now. Heated blanket is OP. Yeah, in, in the real world, a heated blanket is actually OP. Let's go schematic things up. You love yours. I know like I I got my uh, my aunt one for uh, for Christmas this year. And I got my wife a uh, weighted blanket this year. And uh it's heavy. It's like 15 pounds. It is uh is not a light blanket, that's for sure. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Hey, station? So 
So now we have a few of those. Your apartment won't allow space heaters. Your apartment won't allow space heaters. What? Yeah, so you definitely want to get, get yourself a heated blanket. You'll love it. Good up, foe? How you doing, my dude? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? Price is prob probably dodgy electric. Yeah, space heaters, they do. Uh, but they should work on a 15 amp. Breaker. But if like everything's routed to one 15 amp breaker in your one apartment, that'd be not good. If you have like a TV running, you're everything all on one breaker, it would 100% trip that breaker. Okay, so we're gonna have to clear this out. I hate when I do this. Now I don't know which contraption's what. I think I can place it down though and do this. Can't access it, but it lets me know what it is. Okay. Hey, can you, can you not right now? Thank you. All right. Schematic cannon's about to go. About to go. Um, Kevin Fire. Thank you, by the way. Appreciate that. The three mighty months with that tier one sub. Thank you. There's like heads spread everywhere. <laughs> Use candles in a DIY oil lantern for our power when it went out on Monday. Holy smokes. Here's the thing. Will this work from here? And what's the range? Like, can I put a bag on like top of it and will it like interact or does it have to be connected to the bottom section? I wonder. Can I do that? <laughs> Watch it actually work like that. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't hold its gunpowder here either. Oh man. That's oh wait, maybe it's just because I didn't put any in it yet. That's what it is. I bet it will hold it. I just have to put it in there first. I don't have gunpowder on me. So much back and forth. Imagine if we didn't have portals. This would be in insane. This would be absolutely ridiculous. Also, the coin of fortune on a pedestal works like a treat. That doesn't bring it into an inventory though, right? It just pulls it towards the pedestal. That's like completely out of what we're working on right now, but... There's waste stones. We can't move waste stones, though. Hmm. 
another big problem. Oh, it puts it into the inventory if it's next to the pedestal. Oh, interesting. Evaporate. Join the hype train right. chugga chugga. Woo woo. And burned 1,000 bitties to, go to, to the keep store. it going. Are we working on the train still? Yeah, we're working on trains now. We kind of got, well, we got a, we got our train like situated over there. But now we are copying and pasting them to all of the other stations. And then we got to make the train tracks. Oh boy. That's going to be a thing. Evaporate. Thank you, by the way. Again. For the thousand bits. Literally one second from hitting play, and I have to go. Oh no. I'm sorry. Have a good one, though. Why won't it let me put the clipboard in? Does that mean we have all the stuff? What's the red mean? Schematic not. Oh, that's right. I didn't place it. I didn't position it. Duh. What do I expect it to just work? Doesn't work that way. Chosen. Oh god, I'm too close to that. Wait, that overrides it. Um. Like this. I think that's it. Perfectly aligned like that. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So, with this knowledge in my head, I need to... Whoa, wait, what? Oh, it just... Oh, it maintains it, its position. Oh, great. Perfect. Let's be perfectly align this. You know what? I think we can set it to clear air. Actually. I think it will hollow it out. Replace solid. Uh, replace solid with empty. And I'm pretty sure it will do that. Yeah. Also, is it not reading? Oh, it doesn't, it can't read this. Uh, let's see. All of that's in there. Nothing needs to be glued. Put this in here again so we can see what we need. Get your heat tweak. Dude. Serenity. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that, that prime sub for, for two on a two month streak. Sorry. Three months on a two month streak. Thank you. Welcome back. Zoop. Boop. Check our clipboard again. So we need some shafts and some belts. Uh, is that it? That's it. Shafts and belt. Okay. 
that's all the things we need. It looks like it will work. So let's go. One more check. One more check just to make sure. <laughs> Gosh, you got me with the tripping me up. I'm supposed to work in these conditions. That's good to hear you get your heat working though. Good, good, good. Perfect. It's ready to rock and roll. So it's supposed to replace place blocks with air. So it should hopefully clear out an area. I hope it does. Yes, it is. Oh, it is. It's clearing the area out. So does that mean you can use a schematic cannon to clear out an empty space? You technically could. In area oh my god <laughs> yeah you could use it to technically clear out an area yeah look at it go making life easy on us Is it done? It's done. It placed it all in here, track, station, and all. Okay, what is this? Uh, this is the... This is the iron. Iron node. And this one we will call gold node. Might as well. <laughs> Night Rider, welcome. Which armor is that? It looks kind of cool. Yeah, this is the mech samurai. Mechanical samurai. I think we were going to use star buncles for this too, and then we weren't going to have them spinning it fast. At max speed, we were going to have them running though. Okay, so now that that's in, we can always, we'll clear this out as we go to make the actual station. Uh, we should be able to pick this up, everything but our backpack here. Let's move to the next station. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is so cool. So fancy too. I'm gonna just take this with me. That should be more than enough. We don't really need creative flight while we do this. Anything else we need from this? I don't think so. Free spell. Uh, 
I can already tell this train is going to be something else to set up. We should be able to put our contraption right here. Okay. You can go here and uh, this here. And then this, uh, put my backpack here. Oh, we need that. Okay. Contraption up. Should be good to go. We just got to get the backpack in position. All right, and then place down our schematic. Hmm. Not, oh, I gotta get far farther away. Come on, let me place it. There we go. Because they're on the exact same key, you can't have this the things next to it. Kind of lame. I believe that's the height. Oh, it needs to be down here, doesn't it? Yep. It needs to be down here. Let's get to our Y selector. Or X, X, Z selector. What? No arrows this time. What do you mean no arrows? That correct? Yeah, that is that is exactly where we need it to be, right here. It will no no, it actually needs to go lower. Ooh, I hope I didn't do that to the other one. I bet I did. Oh, I bet I did. I don't know what you mean by clearing out arrows. What do you mean clearing out arrows? Yeah, it maintains its gunpowder now. We're good. I cleared space with arrows the other day. Oh, I'm not, no, I ain't blowing, I ain't shooting that in here. No. No. It would destroy all of this that I built. This was another thing we pasted in. Um, 
And actually, while we're here, I might as well clean this up because this is... I should have had it fill with air. Because this is actually a, not a part of it. There we go. Are you working, dude? Oh, there you go. It's almost done. There's no like percentage. <laughs> duck, duck. That's in place. I need to go back and check to see if I put the other one in the correct location. If not, I'll have to tear it down. Um, what is this one? This is azurite or uh, no, this is copper. Copper. Copper node. We still got to do this a couple more times. But it's a good starting point, I think. All right, let's go see how much I fudged up and if I made a huge mistake over here. That is going to have to have me break all of this and redo it. Dang it. Yes, I did. I did fudge up. Let's put all of this in the bag if we can. Where's our train? Hold on. Um, pain chat, the pain. Agony, do, 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 do. This is what you measure twice. <laughs> is my initial one set up correctly? Yeah. Have to go remake a new schematic. <sighs> Is 
then this needs to go down here. Needs to go over one more. Like that. And it needs to go up one. Up one. And that should be the location. Yep, yep, right there. All right. <clears throat> Goodness. I don't know. Does that mean that we have everything needed? Like, does that color mean that? So I don't have to keep doing this. I think it might. And red would mean we don't have everything. The colloquialism is measure twice, cut once. Same concept. Yeah. I love that meme, right? Where they're like, uh, they immediately cut screen. So they'll have a, a piece. They'll have like this length of, of wood. And then their frame is like uh, a little bit shorter. And then they go and they they take their they take their board and they cut it and then they come back and we place it down. Oh, now it's now it's an entire block short. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, I love that meme because I have done that before. Cutting trim is the worst. Just a hair off, but it shows it shows so much. The schematic can place like torches free fa falling in the air like this is kind of a crazy tool all right so now we need to rename this because this is iron all right we only need to do this one more time i know this is probably getting boring at this point it definitely is for me. The fact that we got to set up the same sort of thing in all of these locations. <clears throat> we could have done like this mega train maybe that somehow dropped off redstone and also harvest the node at all in one go. But look at this little bitty train that's going to run this thing. Big yawn. <laughs> oh no. I don't want to put everyone to sleep, Chan. I promise. Not what I want. No decoration on the train? That's just our blank train for right now. Can I be a train conductor? Oh goodness. I don't know how that work, uh, how that would work. It might work that way. Might be able to, I don't know how that actually works. Does that mean the player mob would get like a little, a little hat? <clears throat> Is that what would happen? Soft purple wool.
The fact that these are all underground made this incredibly difficult. But I guess they could have been in water, and if they were in water, this would be near impossible. I don't know. I thought we were able to bring them up above the surface, but apparently not. Don't they move if you hit them with a wooden axe? We tried. Or I tried. Not we. I tried. Thin ice? Chat. I'm on some thin ice, apparently. Wait, how did I get thin ice? Yeah, it just seems like Skystone is the only one I can do that on do that with. And then also you guys said the coal on these don't regenerate. And I was like, oh man, that would have been a nice infinite source of... Pretty cool infinite source of coal. Okay. <clears throat> so this needs to be connected to the right side. Yeah, the side facing the, um, this side, right? This side. I gotta get my bearings. Hold on. I am kind of lost being underground. All of our stations have been on the right side. On this side. Yeah. I thought the somatic cannon could do the gluing automatically. It does. It did. It glued all this. This is all glued. These were placed in by the schematic cannon and it glues them all. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. You just have to put the glue in for that to work. All right. Let's place our contraption down. Schematic cannon, let's go. It's like summoning in a Pokemon. Schematic cannon, I choose you. Hope we have enough resources. Okay. Get over here. This time, make sure we actually do this correctly. Line it up. Uh, should go there. Do we need to make it go down? There, I believe. And then... We need to move it this way. Yes, it should be facing this block. That should be where it needs to be positioned. Okay, good, good, good. And this, this should have everything. Yep. So we're ready to just go. And we just get to watch from the sidelines as it puts it all together. And it also clears out air, which is I really like. Probably should have made it a little taller. We can do a couple tabs of the bottle. Uh, Beer Toaster says, what's your opinion on Greg Tech? I don't really have one because I've never really got to fully experience it. I have played around with a little Greg Tech, but it was a long time ago. It was a sky block and it like, it took me eight hours to craft a bucket. 
so I just I don't really have a great opinion on it. <laughs> I don't. Probably shouldn't be stating uh, my opinion on something I know nothing actually about. <clears throat> For people though who uh, I do know that it's for people who really enjoy the grind and then enjoy that aspect of games just like the people who really enjoy Dark Souls you know um, everybody enjoys their own types of games Like, PO3 Mythic? From what I heard, Mythic's not, like, PO3, like, you just end up, like, whenever you do setups in, in a lot of mod packs like that, you end up just building the same things over and over again. Like, you just make a bunch of them. You wish you can get into Souls-like games? just not for you. Yeah, I tried. I tried with uh, what they call the introductory to Souls games, right? The new one. Um, I tried it and it was fun. Like for what it was, fighting the first few bosses was really fun. But it's like, <clears throat> it feels like everything's so stacked against you and you just, it's like the tiniest of mistakes get you wrecked. But at least it's not crazy punishing. Reminds me of your main criticism towards Create Astral. Yeah. And and it and the, even Create Astral, it could have been my it could have been my fault. Um because I jumped into a pack that I thought would be good for YouTube. Sorry, just Brad R, thank you for the prime, my dude. Thank you for using that on me. Welcome to the crew. Brand new sub, fresh meat. Um, yeah, I thought that I love that skin, by the way. I thought that jumping into Create Astral was going to be this sort of beautiful journey through Create. And it may have been the way that I was doing things, but I just was building the same things over and over again. And I think what hit me as a breaking point is I seen there was AE in there. And I assumed that AE auto crafting was going to be available once you got to AE. And then only to find that it 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 mentions the auto crafters in the quest, but then their gate they were gated. They, they weren't gated, they were gone. Like you just couldn't do it. And and so I had built all of my setups thinking that later on AE, once I fully had the auto crafter. I was going to be able to auto craft things and I was going to use the inputs and outputs for the create machines as the means for automating. And that was not going to be possible anymore. So at that point I was like, well, that's not going to happen. And it's, it's been different. This pack has been too completely different. I really like the progression in this pack compared to that one though. It, they are different. They are different. And this one reminds me more of Create, um, this pack reminds me a lot of the, uh, Create, um, why am I blanking right now? Above and Beyond. Which is what this is inspired from. But this 100% reminds me of Create Above and Beyond. Actually, it's, it doesn't feel as grindy as Create Above and Beyond. Create Above and Beyond felt really grindy in the beginning. Yeah, I did not. I also with um, <clears throat> and, and I'm not hating on the pack. This, these are packs for everyone. They have their own rule set and they're intended to be that way. But I absolutely hated the fact that belts, cogs, gears, all those pieces caused 
extra stress on your systems. And so things where you would normally able to just use a single cog wheel or a single water wheel no longer worked. And um, I know I could have just built a massive water wheel system from the start and I would have had all of my resources I would have ever needed, all the stress I would have ever needed. I, I know those things now, but I, di I didn't then. Um, and so it felt really punishing to a new player. And in which I would still have considered myself new. Now I know you can play 64 water wheels. Bam, you got enough stress to last you through the basics of automation before you can get all of your other stuff. You know, it's like pretty straightforward to do. But yeah, that, that pack was, uh, was, was tough. It was a tough pack. I think mostly uh, the strain that, that happened because of the uh, stress on the belts. Oh yeah, he made a lot of it accessible at the beginning. Yeah, like lily pads, the iron farms, repeatable loops. So it's a it's a lot. Yeah, it's nice. I'm I'm having a lot of fun with this. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, I know it is supposed it's supposedly going to have some grindy parts in the end, but <clears throat> we'll see. If we just got to keep building factories, we'll keep building factories. I agree. That's what. That's why I said this is a long play. I kind of want to play this for a while. It takes us half a year to get through this pack. It takes us half a year to get through this pack. You know, maybe that's wrong on me. I don't know. The structures helped. Oh, yeah, the structures are phenomenal. Okay, so now that we got that placed in. Also, let me make sure everything that I can put in here is put in here. Could you imagine a zombie getting a hold of like your contraption item that has all your stuff in it and then it just despawns or it falls in lava or you absolutely you accidentally drop this contraption in lava with all your stuff contained in it? Oh God, I guess that's a risk, right? So what I need to do here is I do need to turn these two on. So I need to go get some starbuncles. And I was thinking about using starbuncles to power all of them. We could farm some starbuncles for a little while. That's not, it wouldn't take too long to get enough starbuncle shards. It's just gold nuggets. If it picks it up, it can't despawn, but what, what if it falls in lava? Like, <laughs> that's when it's trouble. The skill issue. <laughs> yeah, you deserve to get punished if it, if that happens. Yeah, you you deserve to be punished for that. Is that what you're saying, chat? Uh... Worst thing is it happens. You over uh, if your loot overflows and you have a creeper or TNT and all the ones nine force loaded all the chunks servers and lightning strikes when you're offline. What? Why would you do that? All right, let's get this bad boy spinning. <laughs> this is so crazy looking too. When it's doing its first run. Do 
if you claim your area uh, in all the mods nine, you shouldn't have fire spread in that area. Like fire shouldn't burn anything. Shouldn't anyways. Like, if I use gold on this, it goes incredibly fast, but it's, like, super derpy. Shows in your All the Month 9 video are the best. Thank you. They're getting close to the, like, end. They were, like, um, not, like, the end, but, like, the life of the videos. Where people, where people actively watch them a lot. It's getting to the point where the viewer counts are going down, which I understand episode 30. Usually I always see a trend in down after episode 30. I think it's because people just can't keep up with the episodes. And then after episode 30, they get like discouraged and then just, just stop watching entirely, unfortunately. But I'm 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 doing the all the mod star. cool is this though like this this is like such a cool thing that create does it's insane how you're describing exactly how some series i stopped watching on youtube yeah i mean i i understand from a viewer point of view that it's going to happen as well i watch stuff too Yeah, there's, I feel like, um, and I, I see it definitely after episode 30, the videos are more like, ooh, this is something that I, I don't know about, so I'm going to watch it sort of thing. So like all the mechanism stuff, or they're like, this is interesting. Like if it's, if it looks boring, they're probably not going to watch it. Like all the mechanism stuff, unfortunately, like all performs worse than any other thing I do. Um, no matter how interesting I try to make the thumbnails look or the, the, the idea of the video be. It's still a pretty boring concept. Mechanism can be. Um, so, it is, I guess it is what it is in that regard, but. All right, here it is. <laughs> we made a mob grinder. But I can definitely tell the videos that people really enjoy. They're like, oh, this is interesting. Because they, they perform really well. I need to start cleaning this up. Chad, I think it's happening and I'm a little upset about it. I have the sniffles right now and I am, I am not okay with that. Dang it, chat. I've got the sniffles and that can mean only one thing. Only one thing, chat. Yeah. Perhaps what you want to do that stuff yourself, even your boring videos are very educational. Yeah, true. I mean, I still have a good time recording those quote unquote boring videos. I try to make them interesting too by maybe changing up the concepts and redoing ideas.
But I'm I'm having a blast with all the mods. Like I said, I, I I'm striving this time, like not just to get the star, but to make the the full automation technically for the production of the stars. So I'm going for the B. And once we have the B, we are going to accelerate the crap out of that thing. That's the goal. <laughs> um, divs, is it, let me say that. Di or is it DV? No, definitely DVS Pop-Tart. You just got wrecked by that. Thank you for the, thank you for the uh, tier one sub, dude. Welcome to the crew. Uh, to switch prime, not bypass ads. It seems silly. Uh, no, they do. Just refresh your stream. Refresh, like re restart your stream, like or refresh your browser there. Um, because it should it should be bypassing. Um, so yeah, when you prime to this particular channel, you should not get ads. It used to be if you had Prime, you didn't get ads on any channel, but they swiftly changed that. I felt like that didn't last very long. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, when I have that set up too, two, three. Technically, it needs to be one block away and all the sides. I want to have this like dug out in the sides like the other one, but it'll come with time. It'll come with time. All right, let's get this. Right, right there. All right, let's go to the other one. Yeah, I'm hoping to be able to make it pretty, pretty-ish. Good evening, Mr. Chosen. Good evening, Goo Goo Robot. Robot, not bit, robot. Good evening to you. All right. Um, this should clear itself out just like the other one. Make a giant version of the Bunkle Will. <laughs> like a, a full scale, like a replica of a Bunkle. I don't even know how you do that. And just make it spin. <laughs> yeah, have it do the running animation. Yeah, that sounds like a whole nother level, a whole nother mod that would need to be made. All right, if all of our placement and stuff worked, it looks like it has. Oh, this is just great. This is perfect. These are working. And then we have our train station. Now we've got to, like we can always make it look pretty. I'm not worried about that. Um, what I'm worried about is now getting trains connected to the station and then figuring out how we're going to do redstone. Like I know how we're gonna feed redstone, but we also have to figure out how to get redstone onto this train. And so we are going to have to link into the main station to refill on that. And I guess when we set up our schedule, we'll need to, we'll figure that out. And we'll have to set it so it'll only hold so much redstone on the train. Because everything else needs to be outputting this stuff.
Um, is there a gist of what's up here for the first time viewer? I've only watched YouTube so far. Well, this is a pack that's built around the create mod. Um, normally I have my camera on right now. I don't, I just don't have my camera. Normally we stream the camera. This is a mod pack that is heavily create influenced. All the automations is create based. There's a quest book. It's called create arcane engineering. This is the task right now. We're doing the automation extra uh, excavation or automated excavation task, which is under the fun automations. Um, and so we're working on doing all of these right now. And this was the solution. Yeah, no handsome chosen today, no. It's probably gonna be that way until I'm not sick. But my, my eye, it was giving me a headache this morning, turning the lights on. So, yeah, normally I have a, I have a camera, webcam. Normally we, we, uh, you can actually see me. Um, but yeah, this is a create heavy, heavy, heavy create mod pack. And so a lot of the things are built around automation. We've already, I think this is the only other catalyst that we have to automate, right? Because we've automated the redstone catalyst. Um, and th then we have four of these. And so this is the only other catalyst we have to farm. And these are for automated resources. So this is going to give us iron, zinc, copper, and gold all in huge quantities. Once we have these going, these are like huge upgrades. Oh yeah, and zinc. Yeah, zinc. So that automated brass. So it's probably what we'll end up setting up is we'll set up our brass. Um, we'll split some of the, uh, the, we'll split some of the copper and zinc that this produces. And we'll split it up into two separate lines. So they'll split into their own containers, but they'll also split into a process. And that process will be uh, to make brass. And then iron. I don't, I don't, we can't get any of these. We're going to, we'll have to use another setup for that. That's later on though, to get other resources automated, like apparently automating coal, which is a thing, nickel, plumbum, is that, that's lead, and stanium, which is N. Okay, hey, that one is done. I guess we just need to figure out how fast to spin this, right? Because we want this to go fast. Um, yeah, we want this to go fast. Like Sanic fast. Machine that goes vroom vroom is probably the right answer. Well, thankfully the belts, we can like accelerate them to mock speed with a water wheel. So we can put a water wheel that's um, gear ratioed up. All right, let's get this organized, right? Uh, we want at least level. prefer to have this cleared out, but it may not happen. Oh no! Duh! It's <laughs> G-Train Water! Did I say that right? <laughs> Thank you for the prime. Thank you for using that on me. Enjoy the no ads here on the, on the Twitch with that. Thank you.
See, that's three that way. You gotta get this lower. Thankfully, we can exchange stuff down the road. Love the streams. Gravel hammer with the prime for five months as well. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed the streams. I almost did not stream today. I was like so close to going, you know what? I am not feeling so hot. But I was like, you know what? What am I honest? I'm just I'm just gonna be kind of chill and building anyways, so not a huge deal. What else am I gonna be doing? Just sitting on the couch watching TV. Give me just a second chat. Okay, I think it was a butt dial. I think it was a butt dial, chat. Like, why is my mother-in-law calling me? Like, that- she never calls me. All I hear is a TV rumbling in the background. Very suspicious. I guess. It always worries me with them because... <clears throat> I, I never know if, like, they could be, like, in trouble or something. Like, that's what always scares me whenever they call. Because my, uh, my father-in-law is not in the greatest health, and my mother-in-law is not in the greatest health, so... He's got leukemia, and he has, uh... Stage stage four cirrhosis of the liver liver. So neither one of them are in good health. Uh unfortunately. Yeah, I mean diabetes diabetes will wreck you. That's like that's what sucks. Um yeah, my father-in-law, unfortunately, his diabetes is, it's just, it's bad. His sister, unfortunately, with diabetes, she passed away. But before she passed away, I'd say it's like the worst way to go. She lost all of her freaking limbs before she passed away because of the diabetes. And it's just, it's awful, man. Diabetes is awful. He's, he's nearly blind because of it. Diabetes is no joke, man. No joke. I also think it's like the quality of like the family that is taking care of them. And unfortunately, you don't have a lot of control over that sometimes. When people just don't care and they give up, diabetes will take your life. 100%. Your roommate has diabetes? Yeah. I mean, if you're on it and you take care of yourself and you follow the things you need to follow and, you know, you do things appropriately, you'll have a much better quality of life. But if you, if you decide that following those instructions are not for you, it'll, it'll take your life and it, it won't take it good either. It'll take it slowly and freaking ruin everything for you. It'll take your sight away from you, your limbs. It's, it's awful, man. Awful. Getting to see it firsthand is not, not, not been fun. Got it, it, at least it, at least it made me in, in scared of diabetes. That's for dang sure. 
Big change is giving up pop. Yeah, I know. And look. Yep, soda. Soda's not good. Especially if you're diabetic. Yep, the big one. All right. Look at that, man. This is looking pretty clean. I think we need to give ourselves a little bit more room on the edges here. I think going like this would be pretty nice. Your father-in-law went completely blind and had kidney and heart failure. Yeah, before he passed. Heartbreaking to see. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we've had some crazy scares with him. Crazy scares, which um, were not fun, where his blood sugar gets incredibly high and nobody finds out until all of a sudden he can't remember where he's at and so he'll get aggressive because he's so darn confused and doesn't know where he's at and then he's getting like told that he's crazy and stuff like that and then he just gets more frustrated and frustrated and then he just freaks out and then we get a call and then we're like get him to the hospital like call an ambulance if like his blood sugar's that high like if it's over 300 like get him to the doctor you know, I'm just like, Jesus. And then, the, yeah, and then and then it takes like three or four days for him to get his memory back. Like, he won't, he won't know who you are or anything. It's just sad. Scary. And very upsetting when you see somebody that you know, and they know you, but they don't know you. It's, that's so scary. And upsetting. And I know it's very upsetting for my wife. All right. Here we are. Chosen talks about sad things. <laughs> oh, no. But it's life. It's life, man. It's life. Everybody goes through it. And that's like, that's a, such a common disease. Such a common uh, issue that everyone deals with. Diabetes is everywhere. Sorry if you just joined and you got hit with a, a deep topic like that. My bad. <laughs> so sorry. So, so sorry. Okay. Raise the roof in here. Yeah, we're going to raise the roof. Yeah, it, it will be higher. And we can we can do that too. Um, me think. Let's go ahead. Actually, we should probably have this turned on. Because if it's on, when we use our spell, it doesn't actually like break the blocks. Unless I break this. Look, I can do this and it doesn't affect the machine. I have a plan for this. I'm already I'm already thinking about certain plans for the decoration process of a lot of these machines. Um, and I'm, I am coming up slowly with like ideas for what we should do to these areas. Oh my God, that didn't help any. Uh oh. Do I go backwards? There we go, maybe, there we go. Oh God, that's so disorienting. Are you sick yet? 
I feel like I could get used to this, though, like, after all, enough time. 100% I could. Alright, so here's the thing we're gonna have to figure out. Are we going to have our trains run underground? Or are we gonna bring them above ground? Chat's like yes. Okay. Or oh, well Wolfston's like yes. That's not very helpful. Yes. Okay. Just shoot the stuff up. Well, that's not what we're doing though. We're this is the train. I think we should possibly keep the train um underground and maybe we should get a clipboard. And maybe clear our clipboard. And we should go... What? What is this one? This is the... This is, uh... Zinc? Zinc. A subway rail system would be pretty easy with my tunnel board machine. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, what if we just bring the tunnel bore machine down here? But we could just do it by hand. I think it might be honestly easier to just do it with our spell book. Because the tunnel bore was like really kind of before we had the spell book maxed out. So that I don't have a problem with. I think we could keep it. We could do like a five by five too. Because these are not that far apart. But I have to map this out, so I'll have to be like, Zinc, uh, Y level 33. Or maybe I can do the main train station and say, Evaporate. oh my god, Turned on the and maybe set the coordinates for there? Making Chat it rain 500 bits. Why did that Coming one not back around. spawn in right? Test, what? Test, 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 test. <laughs> that one random evaporate. What is happening? Thank you, by the way, for the 500 more bits. Track time, let's do it. Yes. It is time. I don't know how easy it would be to get our... I'm above ground cap behind Mr. Streamer Man. Oh, this God. is a monthly reminder to eat your vegetables. Eat my vegetables. Saturday. Welcome back with the Prime for 14 months, dude. 14 months. You like the way it dug the tunnels? Yeah, well, we can still put it in, but we're going to need to... It won't be able to dig out all of the areas and do the curves. That's the problem that I'm having. Because like, of how big these tracks are. I kind of want it to have this, like, this andesite on the sides of the tunnels. All right, well, we have, we have to map this out. This is where things get hard. We're going to have to take it back up to the surface, right? Or we could, um, we could have it go underneath the base here. But that seems not that great.
Maybe we can plot this out and figure out what would be the best course of action. Course. Of course. All right, you are copper. Oh, they're on the same Y level. This is 33. What? No way. Are they all on the same? No, they're not all on the same Y level. Bad. Is there a way to like pick up a train? I've seen like things that like pick the train up. I don't know how that works. That seems pretty complicated. Good to see you. By the way, I don't know if you know this. I didn't actually get a chance to put a bug report in. Actually, I don't even see where my thing's at. But we found that if a shulker box is full and you do this whole right click on it, which I don't know if, if this is necessarily your, your mod that allows the insert functionality, but if you use that on the shulker box, that's sophisticated and it fills up and then you click on something, it just avoids it. Whatever you try to put into a filled inventory, it just avoids it. This is 118.2. Um, and it was on a gold shulker box, gold tier shulker box, no upgrades. It's quark. Hmm. Yeah, Quark is in here. I don't know if maybe it's a conflict between two of those mods. May 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 not be. You still update 118. Yeah, I assume you still did. No, it's not Quark, yeah. Um, and I tested on the bags. The bags it didn't seem to do that on. Um, but the the shulker box it did. Sorry for you to come in here and I just say, get to work. <laughs> That's not my intentions, I, I swear. <laughs> yeah, there could potentially be a uh, conflict with Quark if they're both trying to do it, yeah. Welcome to chat. Now listen to my bug report. I know, isn't that crazy? Sorry, I did not mean, I mean, it is kind of funny that like, like for example, Darkosto, it's like, it's the other way around for him. It's like chat comes in and says, hey, listen to my bug report. <laughs> I know, I, it, I'm like completely not doing it correctly by not posting the issue, but it just reminded me. It was like one of those things. Oh God. This is also at 33. Oh, wait, so they, are they all at Y level 33? That'd be, that's actually kind of nice that they're all the same. I wouldn't know this if I didn't map it all out. Watch this one be at 33. I bet it is. The exact same. Exact same Y level. Yeah, they're all at 33. Well, that's straight. That's pretty straightforward.
In fact, I get very sophisticated bug reports sometimes to which I need to provide my sophisticated response. Oh, God. I, yeah, it was funny when Darko still was having ChatGPT make a... make a bug report be as sophisticated as it could be, right? That was funny. Good times, man. Good times. Right, now I want to go find my shulker box because I don't know where I put it. That's not my inventory. Also, I don't know if this is all this is intended, but you can you can put you can put sophisticated you can put bags inside of the shulker boxes, and I don't know if. You wanted that functionality to be intended, but shulkers, you can put backpacks into the shulkers, which is kind of like a backpack. And I know that you have upgrades on your backpacks that prevent you from putting backpacks in backpacks. But what you can do is you can put your backpack in a shulker box and then put that shulker box in your backpack. Yeah. Which somebody was saying seems like a NBT nightmare if you filled it with a bunch of stuff. I don't know how that all works, though. Sophisticated Inception, yeah. And my response was chat to be T legal language one <laughs> basically saying, yes, I wasn't saving zero and now I am. Oh God. It's sophistication. <laughs> yeah. Sophist deception. NBT tragedy. Oh yeah. All right. We got a contraption. We shouldn't have to bring anything except for like a bunch of rails with us. Um, and then probably empty our bag. So let's go prepare for this and then let's plot our course and all of these go north. So the idea should be that we start here and then we go to this one maybe and then we loop around and then we go to these two and then we come back. Since they are all facing north far as the direction the train should also be heading. It's the same with pneumatic chests and immersive boxes. You can put them in each other. Yeah, that'd probably be something that would probably not a priority. Sounds like it can get kind of complicated when you start to try and account for what every other mod can do. That seems like a headache.
I'm so glad I have this storage. I know I need to get an auto importer. I should have an auto import on the, a logic cable that sticks out and I just place my bags on the logic cable and it auto dumps it into the storage. But, but hear me out. I'm, I'm a little lazy uh, right now. So, uh, I'm sure you guys can relate. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you can relate. There we go. Surely. That's got to be the most relatable thing I've ever said. <laughs> no, <what> you mean? <laughs> All right. Other priorities, right? By the way, setting up the schematic cannon on there is hilarious. I love this. That was actually, that was such a good thing to add. And it stores our gunpowder, which is so good. All right, now we just got to get our shulker box and we should be just about ready to start mining an area out. We don't need our schematics anymore. So it pulls from the surrounding. It only pulls from this box, this box, this box, and this box. And then I put a bag on the top of it and it will detect all of those inventories. So I may have to, okay. So I may have needed to step away from the last thing I heard was I also need to know if this, oh, we were talking about, um, so we were talking about, um, the ability for you to put sophisticated backpacks into the shulker box, um, which also means you could then take your sophistic, you could take your sophisticated shulker box and then put it into your backpack, thus bypassing the whole thing that allows you to do the inception of backpacks. And I was wondering if uh, there's a, oh, there is a config to stop both. Okay, so they're just not default config that way. Okay, probably, or maybe it is default config and they just made it so it's not in this one. Okay. Interesting. That is completely understandable. All right, we need um sleeping bag. It's kind of awesome that this is actually going to be on like the same line. So I guess in this case, we need to figure out at what point does our train divulge down underground here. Um, and, and goes down. We can't have trains just jump track, can we? <laughs> we have trains jump track. And build a storage contraption. A rocket train. <laughs> Dukes of hazards. I mean, there is a, I mean, we could use nether portals to get it down to that level, but nether portals seem to also have an, another issue. I think just mining down is probably going to be the best course of action for our train. Probably do the diamond portal thing. I don't know how that works yet.
plus test it. That's for going, it says in the thing, that's for going from one dimension to another. A diamond block with flint and steel creates a portal, no matter the dimension, allowing trains to travel anywhere. This portal only works for trains and their inhabited, their inhabiting entities to make the link work in the first place. You have to place down a track just as you would next to any nether portal and just make sure to place it in the dimension you are attempting to link to place your first portal in the special dimension and then go through it back to the special dimension, not through the newly created portal. And then place a train track. So yeah, this, this like creates a portal that you apparently have to find in the overworld, like or in the other dimension, right? I'm, I'm confused. I'm still confused by this. Uh, what is this mod called? Is it just called trains? Is it called trains in every dimension? Not a mod, just a pack thing. Okay, make sure you place... Okay, it's so hard to read when it's all jumbled like this for me. Just make sure to place it in the dimension you are attempting to link to. So place it into the dimension you're attempting to link to. And it says place your portal in the special dimension. Then go through it. Go back to the special dimension. Not through the newly created portal and then place a train track at the portal in the special dimension. I think special dimension is like out, it's in the thing that's not the nether. So like at the end. So place your portal like in the end, then go through it. But I thought you it said you can't go through it. What's the portal? I have to see it. Give me a second, chat. I'm trying to figure it out. Sorry, my wife just brought me some food for lunch. So make sure you place it in the dimension you are attempting to link. So yeah, by right clicking a diamond block with flint and steel, it will create a portal no matter the dimension. What's confusing is it says it allows trains to travel anywhere and says this portal only works for trains. Is Fortnite lurking again? I have no idea. But it says this portal only works for trains. And that's what confuses me when it says that you need to go through it. It says, and I know it says and inhabiting entities, but it also says to make the link work first place. It says you need to have place a track down next to it like any other nether portal. and make sure to place it in the dimension you're attempting a link to. Place your portal in the special dimension. Would it, is it permanent? Like if I put this in my base, is it locked here forever?
Jesus. It's another portal. Pillars didn't show up. Yeah, client desync for sure. So if I opened it in the end, for example, is it a nether portal? It takes you to the nether? Oh. They lead to the overworld? Okay. So you can make a normal nether portal and use that to link them. Maybe. It's possibly what it is. Like it links you to the nether. Strange. All right, let me grab this up. I mean, we don't need to worry about that too much right now. Not just yet, but okay. It's interesting nonetheless. Not much, not clear. Yeah. Not the clearest description in the world. But. <laughs> Not quite sure. I mean, once I figure it out, probably and see it once. Like, maybe there should have been some pictures or something in the... That explained it. I don't know. I need to figure out how we're going to link to our tracks, though. Let me fill my inventory with some. Well, actually, we'll do tracks after. Uh, first, though, we need to clear the hole. So do we want this leaving out this way? If we do leave out this way, this is the station. It's facing this direction. So if it did leave out, we would probably want... Actually, we might want this one leaving out and then wrapping around. Probably want this track over here to doing this. Yeah. Definitely want this track doing it. And then we'll have it merge off the side because I don't want it to turn right now. Tech Josh oh my started God. up the helicopter Tech. at 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 at, at, more at to give chosen yes, 500 cities. Oh God, this is this is really difficult. Tech. <laughs> All the trains. I like trains. Thank you, Tech. So just check for the shulker box issue, and um, if the pack has here is shulker box. Like blocks in court config. Evaporate. Join the hype you train chugga chugga. Woo woo. Oh and burn 500 biddies to keep it going. <laughs> Evaporate. Oh god. 
Being for the 500 bits as well. Okay. Interpret shulker boxes like blocks. Interpret e 3 pp 3 rf one y Oh my god. Started up the helicopter at at to give chosen 1,000 bitties. Thank you, Pepper. Thank you for the thousand bits as well. All the all the the nerdy bits right here. Thank you. Oh man. Why level 33, guys? That's where we're gonna have to go. Oh <clears throat> interpret like interpret. Interpret shulker boxes like blocks in the court config. I wonder what those are. are they general? In general. I'll interpret. Okay, so if I turn that off. Hopefully that'll be fixed because we deleted a lot of items. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. We accidentally deleted a lot of items. <laughs> a lot of diamonds, yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. When I, I noticed what I had just put in there, I was like, Oh no, I was like, where did all those items I just hop swapped and put in there? <clears throat> Definitely a block conflict. Oh god. Alright. Now for the fun. Uh oh, I was the wrong. I didn't mean to. I, I swear, it was an accident. Problem is, Quirk with a setting just assumes that your shulker box stores items in the same place where vanilla stores. So basically, say, oh man, there's no easy fix for that. Yikes. Something to keep in mind, though. Like, if I go to make uh, another mod pack and Quark is available, I will know. If your mod's in there, to make sure to do that so if people do use it, I don't end up with a issue report going, hey, I voided all of my special gear. Yeah.
Oh man, yeah. If it was that, oh man, if it voided a trinket. Hmm. Avoid an echo or I don't even know if so echo is not as hard to get as it used to be <laughs> It was really like hard to find but now it feels like they feed it to you like candy At certain levels I'm gonna I'm gonna set my track here I'm going to have the track sort of go off in this direction. end up those are going to end up right back in my inventory i know it so yeah we'll have this curve in this way however i plan on doing that and then we need to go down mm. There's auto placing supported under the tracks. I do, but that's not what I'm doing here. That is not what I'm doing here. I'm doing something else. Um, this is so the hole doesn't get in my way when I start to dig it down. This guy's being so sneaky. Get the shovel. Get shoveled. <clears throat> okay. So here's the here's the crazy spell. We're gonna set this up. Um and this is going to start making our way down. Right? Oh, that was wrong. I don't know if I need it to be this big, actually. Let me see if I make the spell a little bit smaller. That's better. There we go. Didn't know you could have an auto place metal post supports. Oh yeah, the the girders or whatever they're called. It'll place it under the rails, yeah. Looks really good on curves. I think though the better way to do it is to build out your track and then use a roller 
um, track placer. Like the roller will, will can replace blocks under the track. Sorry, I'm eating, chat. There are rollers. Check this out. It can also break blocks. <laughs> Autobots roll out. <laughs> yeah, um, it does say that right blocks that are um ex exchanged that way. They don't yield the blocks though, right? One, two, three, four. Right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Two. Good. I can just walk. Creeper man being in, being a meanie, big meanie head. Might be enough blocks, yep, to get me down. Alright, are you guys sure you want to go right now? Yeah, I didn't think so. Correct. Hey, Bat, I need you. It's always the forbidden one. We never get the one from Reliquary. There we go.
By the way, chat, what's your plans for the weekend? What are you guys doing this weekend? Anything? Now that it's uh, the snow for most people is kind of over? About to start warming up, ain't it? Through the whole U.S. Pedestals are enabled. Make a small bat spawner. Oh yeah, the sword could just like annihilate them, couldn't they? Yeah, if we were just underground. <laughs> that could work. Actually a good idea. Yeah, they are enabled, I believe. All right, 33. This is our level. Do we remember how many blocks it actually takes to... I don't remember how many blocks it takes. To make this turn. Well, I guess first we need to make sure we're even at our turn. We have to make two turns. Time to make this a little bit smaller. That's about the perfect tunnel size right there. The nine by nine. We gotta get this shulker box filled up. Alright, did I bring my clipboard with me? I did. So this node, uh, what is this node? This node is Azurite, which is Zinc. So, Zinc Vein is... 392. So we need to get to 392. What do stack upgrades cost for storage? They're actually not that bad. So we could, yeah, we could definitely put stack upgrades in there. Not that bad. I just want to fill this up and I want to see if it actually still is voiding. Because it shouldn't. But I know for, for Pepper's testing sake. To verify. All right. Yep. Yeah, now it's fixed. Look at that. Pepper. Pepper's got. Always got it, man. Look at that. Hell yeah. Issue solved. All right. Uh, zinc three ninety two is what we need to lead to. Of ways. 
Never in doubt. Pepper's on the case. I don't know how you would set up for a automatic bat spawner. The nine by nine Dyer would be proud. Dyer played this pack. Three ninety two. That he did. Bats can spawn in one. Mm. So that's how you would set it up. Uh -huh. It's 192. And then we'd have to figure out the curve. This should lead us right to the train station. This is actually going to be kind of cool. <clears throat> this is why I mapped out the coordinates. So we could like plot this whole thing. Needs to be below a certain... Man, I missed the... Um, there was a, the bat zapper. That thing was insane. It would like kill bats within like a massive radius. Which like seems really weird too because like bats just respawn anyway. So why would you, what, what would you have the need to use that for? Like, I guess clearing them after you've maybe stopped them from spawning, I guess. So that would be the real reason for the bad zapper. Someone said the flare lantern is a 16 by 16 radius. Probably is a 16. No. Or it probably is 16 by 16. Not chunks. It's definitely not chunks. It ain't that wide. This is like I think the uh, the the torch that prevents mob mob spawning. I think that's a um. Isn't it a thirty-two by thirty-two? I'm so nervous, but it is right here. Oh, that's so beautiful. satisfying when things just like work now we've got to make it okay so I think we'll hit oh wait we could mm. that's a tough one um We could use, well, this is the only train that ever be on this. We could loop here, go around, go up through this one, go through this one, cut a quick loop-de-loop, -loop, wrap around here, and then come straight back, and then tap right back in.
That could work. Really satisfying when things just work. Same satisfaction when I implement something and then test it and it just works. Sadly, it almost never happens. Dang. Probably be a bigger problem though for like a major company. Couldn't imagine the rigors has got to go through that. The process of making sure everything's verified before. Hmm. Oh. I don't want no creeper blowing up here. Actually, that reminds me. You just did that. This needs to be claimed. So how am I doing this? I'm going to go. I think we should hit this and then cut straight over. And then loop through. And then turn around. And then come right back to where this rails at. So, this is our iron node. We need to stay on this level. Thankfully, they're all on the same level. So our iron node, we need to continue in this direction. Let me do silk touch. We need to probably turn a little ways before. So this is like Z. We could probably do like Z 33. Let's do Z 33. So when we get to 33, we'll stop. Wait, are there magnets in the pack now? It's probably always been, right? Because of the uh, trinkets? There's also thermal, and then you can also use ours as a magnet. I kind of want to take this off so it helps me see visually where we're at. Holy smokes. Um, there's a bit of a cave over here.
I do. There is a place spell. Why don't we do a place spell? Do I have a place spell? Mm, we could have done like place underfoot. Also, just do this, I guess. Okay, and then we'll just wand. Do we get over there? Actually, don't want this in the way of the track. By the way, that um that block placer that I was talking about earlier, the rollers, it they're crazy, right? They can they can fill in areas, and they fill them in, and they can fill them in in arches or straight down. And it just takes all the blocks you have in them and just completely puts a giant bridge. Like I said, either sloped or straight down. When I was testing them, I was like, holy smokes. It lags so much. Pretty ridiculous. We're filling in the water. Free, it's free blue ice. That's blue ice. I know, could you imagine if Aris was in <laughs> Wallhunters? This would have to be one of the most expensive mods you unlock.
Like, it doesn't have to be nerfed, right? You say Iskal would nerf it badly, but it doesn't have to be nerfed. It just needs to be expensive. So it's not like one of the first mods you unlock. I don't know. <laughs> this mod is insane. Yeah, the research like was it's like a hundred points or something. Yeah. Also, echoes using the re recipe. Yeah, yeah. Like, like your book, your your R's book would have to be insanely expensive. But the thing is, is you would also need, like, you would need R's gear. And so you wouldn't be wearing your normal Vault Hunter's gear. Which would be, unless, like, it gave you some innate perks. That's the problem I can see, because it relies heavily on the gear, so... But then again, like Batania, Batania got annihilated. I bet if I bet if Iskal could, he probably wouldn't want like all of these odd and in mods in the packs anyways. Probably prefer it to be like its own standalone solutions to these problems, like for generating resources and stuff. If, like, there was infinite time, money, and resources. <laughs> It'd have its own set of custom... custom mods that did the things without needing to be these other mods. Who knows, though. Vault gear is crazy when you think about it. Yeah, it's the, it, the stats are so high. Especially when you realize how hard the mobs are actually hitting for. Normally, it's, they're all, it's a lot. A lot. Like, you're taking thousands of damage each vault. While you're dealing hardly any. More powerful than the cork trowel. It has similar functionality. Wait, what? Trowel fork? Bruh. There's not. It, it must not be implemented in this version. The randomized spell. But this, this, the wands, by the way, they do block placement, like, they do random block placement, just like a trowel does. I wish you could set your size on this. All right, we're trying to get to 33. Found some Stellarite.
Don't tell me how hard mobs hit. I wasn't taking that much damage in a vault and suddenly died to a tier three mob who spawned next to me and one shot the remaining 12 hearts I had. Oh my God. Hmm. Mobs don't hit that. <laughs> Famous last words of a Vault Hunter player. It's probably the last time they they launched Vault Hunters as well. Right after saying that. Mobs don't hit that hard. One shot, lose everything. Never plays again. <laughs> oh god. I think it went a little too far. Because this is 33. Keep the natural look of the ground here. Also, well, we got to go that way anyways, right? Never mind. Because the train's got to come back. This is just where it will diverge. The insanity of the vault gear could also be shown on thorns. You killed a dragon yesterday just by flying into it without destroying the crystals. Oh no. <laughs> I, uh, I tried so hard to get my thorns damage really high in a thorns build. That didn't work out for me very well. Did that just place on the side of the lava? All right, what what Y level do we need to go now? Um, or X X level? Iron six oh six. Wait, this is oil. Oh, the freeze doesn't work on the oil. I know it does work on it, though. I just found oil's weakness. What happened to the face cam? Did it die? No, I, I have it off today. Technically, it did die. Thank you. 
This is a huge pro man. The more I think about this, the more crazy it gets. Like what we're actually doing right now. This is a huge project. And in the quest book, it's treated like it's just a small thing. It just says, oh, it's just, just partake in some fun automation. Just partake in some fun automation. So it'll be fun. Be fun and easy. No big deal. No biggie. Could automate it, yeah, everything. It'd be fun, they said, yeah. Here, snacking on some uh, buttered seasoned pretzels. So good. We still got to get a track through here, too. Those little waffle shaped ones? No, these are, um, these are just pretzel sticks. Pretzel twist. They're good. Mm-hmm. However, I do need something to drink. I'll take a break here in a minute. We running out of bag space? Yeah. This is our last bag and then we've got to go refill. We got to go empty. Or what I could do is I could just void all the stone and cobblestone because we don't really need that. <clears throat> we just go toss it all in that lava. Keep everything else. Are they bussin' chosen? They are bussin'. Here. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a dungeon. Oh, that's, oh, that's right, because we're coming upon the dungeon. Have gravel.
a little bit more space. Maybe it'll let us get to at least this point. Exactly. Bro, you asked for this. <clears throat> Darth Ecrib, welcome. Hello. Six hundred. Is it six six hundred something? Six oh six. Oh, I don't have it. I don't think I ha that's a good command to have, though. Like an exclamation point goal or point goals. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad of a command to have set up for each day. Goals is to link our train track and wrap it around. So we're going here. We're going to run through this one. We're going to run through this one, run through this one, and then loop back around all the way back down to this station, which then wraps back into our main hub. That's the goal. It is a crazy, crazy goal. Can't tune in every day. That's understandable. I would never expect anybody to be able to do that. Really wish backpacks weren't as crazy limited as they are. Having like a void background backpack would be nice right now. All right, this is 606. Here, a bunch of lava. All right, that's where I think our clipboard sub we need to be. Iron 606. All right, we're on our way to iron. It should be on our right. This is actually, this is so satisfying. 
getting to each train station is so satisfying. <laughs> That's so good. And perfectly on it. All right, now we need to make it to... 606, so we'll have to go six blocks over. Um, we need to make our way over the over here. Or <laughs> I do. God. All right, and this will take us straight through. Oh God. Oh God. Or, 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 or. Hey. <laughs> Troxy. Thank you. Or Troxy. Think about that. Six months in advance. Holy smokes. Thank you. The tier one for six months ahead of. Jeez. Uh oh. Oh God, can I do it? Can I do it? Boop, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. Also, <clears throat> Uneasy Archer YouTube. Thank you so much, by the way, as well with the tier one sub, which you're down here somewhere. I just don't, there we go. Boop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> I'm getting used to being flipped upside down. Honestly, I am. It kind of looks like I'm walking on that. There we go. <laughs> Trippy. Crazy trippy. <laughs> this pulls right out of your backpack. That's crazy.
but then we can light this path. Then we gotta go through this with our train. Oh my god. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna go through it with the train placer, but we'll we'll manually be placing these tracks in, I think. We might just be manually placing the tracks in. Got a souls, welcome. Says, hey, uh, Chosen Architect. Um, I didn't, didn't saw all your all the mods nine series yet, but I'm facing an issue with the structure compass uh, that keeps overloading my world, keeping my world from interacting with anything. Have you faced problems with the structure compass and all the mods nine? Yes. Um, it can it can cause problems. When I was uh, in a testing world, I tried to find a structure. And it just completely hung and, and it crashed the game. So I, there are issues with it, yes. Um, it might just mean that you need to restart your pack. This is the point where we need to actually turn this pretty quickly. We should probably instantly be turning this. Really should have some tracks on me to be able to L. I don't know how far out I can go with this. Let me just grab one. Turn to sharp. Come on. I need, I need the help. Okay, okay. So it can place, it can turn out here, but it cannot turn out this way. God, it requires such a steep interaction here. So I, I do know it will go out to this here. Okay. Oof. I hope we can make the uh, the interaction make that transition. Okay, okay, we need to check our thing here. Let me also undo this. <clears throat> it 
exactly what happened. Trying to find the desert pyramid. Oh, the um. Yeah, that's probably also because I don't know if Young's pyramids are in the pack. And so you won't actually even find a vanilla pyramid. Um, zinc, iron, this is copper, I think. We're going to copper. We need to go to 414. Four fourteen. Your skin didn't transfer, yeah. Yeah, it's because your Twitch name doesn't match your micro name. There's a another mine area. Because of an ill pyramid you were trying to find. This is it can't find it. Yeah, so there may not like I said, I don't think I don't know if the vanilla pyramids are in the pack. Because I think Young's adds pyramids. We might have to get squirrely with this train. Do some weird interactions. You learn to not have your R's book in your hand while trying to access your storage. You accidentally use a break spell on your storage. Such a mess. Oh, God. Time to load a backup. <laughs> that sounds like a backup kind of mistake. Are there pickup and stack upgrades? Yeah, but notice we don't have any upgrade slots in our backpack because in this pack, you're limited a lot. So I do not currently have, I mean, I could potentially make them and swap them out for my pump and XP upgrades right now. 
<clears throat> and I could void everything, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty expensive for the upgrade slots. And I think every backpack only gets technically two upgrade slots. I wonder if they get more when it's upgraded more. This one I found and it already had one upgrade slot. So I still have another one, but it needs a final PCB, which is a process, quite a bit of a process actually to get. cyber backpacks do so basically at the end of the game when you probably don't even need them anymore is when you get them <laughs> I, I know that's probably not how i should be looking at it but it is kind of funny they're always useful yeah not crazy useful right when you need it let's see or 14. Gonna have enough space. Oh God, this is gonna be pretty close. It will Okay. How many blocks out is that, right? Because I click this. One one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven blocks out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, technically. Make this a nice curve. <clears throat> Very 
Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> a symbiotic ghost gifted six months of tier one. To, to, what? To blue to new B. <laughs> Wait, what? Gifted, just gifted six months. What in the world? Thank you. Builder holds the fluids in place. Thank you. Oh, it's the wife we watch on her account. Oh. Well, so welcome. Well, I guess welcome back. <laughs> okay, so we got a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and eleven, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. I technically need to make sure I can head back as well. And then that's going to be heading back to, um, you want to know something funny? Sure. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Back to the zinc. So we need to go to three ninety two. Hit me with your best shot. Oh my god, I'm gonna be singing that now. Have a good stream, Chosen. Ivy. If you're saying goodbye, you have a good one as well. I'm watching you play Minecraft, and I'm playing an entirely different game, Destiny 1. Hey, I... You know what? I haven't played it in a while. I need to. But I also don't want to at the same time. Because I know I'm going to get sucked into it. If I jump into Destiny 2. I know you said Destiny 1, but still Destiny 2. I'd get sucked into it. 392. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. That makes it a little bit harder. Um, but this is my corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Well, not as much watching, but listening while you play Minecraft. That's true.
I think all of my inventories are completely filled. Yeah. Oh, nope. Okay, so I almost have everything sort of set up here. And we can almost start linking tracks down, but we got to mine all the way back, which is quite the journey. I'm pretty sure. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and mine the whole thing out. Not worrying about the blocks that we have lingering about. We'll just let them linger about. Hopefully we don't encounter a whole lot of like bridge making processes, but we should right about here link back into the main trail uh, main track be kind of interesting oh yeah there's a lot of water here holy smokes the water okay it's got a bit more challenging try and fill in this side Free spell is kind of OP. <laughs> it's not OP. Okay, a little bit. It's super useful. So I said, do we need anything other than just ours? A nice ice tunnel. Yeah, that's, all, that's what we're going to have. The fact that it's blue ice, it won't melt. That'll melt. Okay, that ran in my ore. I do want it. I don't know if we can get anything good from Randomite Ore, but I want to at least try. Get something nice out of it, potentially. Getting pretty close. I mean, you can, but it's a small chance. Yeah, to get anything. I don't know. Be like playing the lottery. Here's where I don't think that my tunnel bore would have made this job any easier because it can't handle the turns. You need a rail cart contraption to even remotely try and do this. And ours, I don't think, is big enough. One that I have set up.
You're technically farming too. You're farming weapons to break down into weapons into weapon parts so I can upgrade my crew. That is all what that whole game is about. Destiny 2 or Destiny 1. I hope we're on the right track, right? I don't think we are. Did I rail plan this out correctly, following my coordinates and everything like that? Did I measure twice and cut once? Oh boy. Oh, it's right about here. Actually, it's right, right in here. We're, we're halfway there, I think. The last time I played Destiny 1 was... Oh, what's his name? The, what, uh, whenever they came out with the raid... Um, with What's-His-Face floating in the sky. I know they added it to Destiny 2, and I recently played it. I just can't remember his name. Crota? I don't remember. One where he's huge and he's floating in the sky. Look at that, we got it done! Oh, thank God. It's done. Oh. Now we'll have to put junctions in because we want to make sure that our train only goes this way. <clears throat> Probably carpet, isn't it? Darn carpet, man. Trying to if, grab out any ore if we have it. Yep, bundled yellow carpet. Great. Also, let's go ahead and break this. Uh, we can break this with Amplify. I might want to silk touch it, actually. for some fun. FPS? Yes, sir. How are you doing, my dude? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. There's a lot of junk to unload into our storage. We should have room.
goodness. We are getting close. We are getting close to having having automated resources. Oh, I know we're not going to be able to fully get it all done today, but at least getting the train cart set up so we can run it ourselves before setting up the train scheduling will be nice. Oh, so nice. Okay. I guess this number is not correct. Because we are out of storage. There's 40 something barrels. I got to expand my storage real quick. Chosen, you make me want a PC. I mean, honestly, having a PC is kind of nice. Really is. I don't think there would be any regrets if you got a PC. I feel like a PC is like an investment in your entertainment. There's always like a, a certain amount, right, that you should probably spend on your own personal entertainment. Um, and that seems like an investment on a on personal entertainment. I think the number might be assuming that all inventory spaces have 64 items. That's probably what it's doing. I wish it told me like how much of it was filled. I know this number shows me, but it's not showing me like if I put back there one item here, that's one item. That's another item. Yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. It's counting how many total items I have. And that's what it's assuming. Okay. Like I need to make more food. And we're getting close. We're about to get our train tracks set up. I am I am super excited about that. Um 
<clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> now you're switching over to Minecraft? Oh, God. All right. I need to grab some food. And then we'll be able to... Uh, Start placing out our tracks. And linking them in and everything. That's enough. You still live in a hobbit hole? <laughs> I mean, technically, I don't have a home in this game. Really. It's track time. Okay, this is where I need to go. This is the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How am I supposed to do this? I have to like prepare it for that. I think I have to prepare it for that trajectory. What's the mod or what mod pack is this? This yeah, create arcane engineering.
Go again. Every corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Wow. So far, so good. The placing the train track part is actually a lot easier than I thought. in the tracks. We'll run this straight. All right, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. train tracks really give you factorio vibes i'm sure it's like a mix between factorio uh, like the inspiration that, that this was from from like factorio and satisfactory factory games were really insanely popular a couple years ago One, two, three, four, nine, and eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. I do want to see if I can make it out here better. Might need to just bring this out a little more.
two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, Chosen, first time chatting, a live stream, uh, but I've watched your content for a long time. Recently, I have been getting into Prominence 2 and have been building a base for all the tech. Any advice on how to make the building interesting while also functional? By the way, how do you not burn out on Minecraft? Uh, um, well, to answer the first question, how to make it look good. You probably need to have an understanding of how much space you're actually going to need for whatever... Uh, thing you're about to build and have a understanding of like how much room it takes um, And then that will definitely help you I recommend checking out Pinterest for inspiration on color palette ideas and build ideas, which is really really useful. I find it useful um, and then as far as um, How I don't get burnt out I Set small goals for myself that typically helps me not get burnt out on this game even though I do have my days where I just am like, I don't want to play Minecraft. But, um, I also think, wow, look at the job that I was doing before this. And my God, did that job suck. And so, this job is a blessing to me. To be able to do this compared to what I was doing. So, I would give anything to be able to do this job when I was working in the factory I was in. So I would take this any day being burnt out playing a game. Also trying my best not to treat it like a job is also a, a good idea. There's other issues that come with that, so. You're entering the nether? Just lost your OP sword to lava. Why did you do that? You know, you're not supposed to do that. You died. Oh my god. That is actually a, that's just a big part of Minecraft though. It was like, the dying experience is just a big part of the game. <clears throat> if you never died, then you're, you're missing a big part of the game. All right, here's the thing with the trains. Don't I have to, I, it, what do I use for this? Is there a way to say, always go this way? Is it the train signal? It allows me to tell it, hey, only ever go this way. I think I have to just have it facing the other direction, right? I'm saying, where do I need to put the signal? You'll need a double direction. One on the doubled part of the track. One right before the turn, so like right here would be a train signal.
I just need a double direction one right here. But what stops my train from thinking that going straight's the best option? Because it, it has to go this way. Probably need a train signal like here before the intersection that says only this way. I'd probably only need one station, right? I would just need a station here. That says only this way. Oh, the schedule will handle it. Oh, that's true. True, the schedule would handle it. Yeah, we would just do that. Because we would just set that to be the first station. Also, the... St Stations are directional? I think. Let's see. It would be... Zinc. Iron. Gold. Copper. Zinc. Iron. Gold. Copper. Zinc. Iron. Gold. Copper. Hmm. All of our stations are already set up back at the main base. Our train's already set up. But should be good. Then we would just need to work on how we're going to distribute items into our stations and then also get like the items feeding into them. Right now, nothing's going to be feeding into anything. Pop down here. Um, let's grab our little choo-choo train. Okay, that's in, that's locked. Stays locked until I'm off of it. Stays locked. Oh, that's so nice. It won't unlock until I get here. That is a perfect way of limiting how much redstone we send into this. Because this will only unload and only give like two or three redstone. Right? It'll only give like two or three redstone. Well, you have to go. We'll have a good one. Hey, we're hanging out. Maestro, by the way. So 
we can't stop at that station because of the direction it's at. So what we would probably do is set up our train to go to the right. Expert driver. We'd set them up to distribute over here. Maybe? Or, actually, probably better if we had our train go this way. Because of our outputs having room. And then we do our ore processing over here. I'm gonna go back to the nether this time. <laughs> Going with a shield. If you're playing on bedrock? Oh my god, the nether is pain. One of the best settings for the scheduler is until redstone signal or until X seconds of cargo inactivity. Yeah, that would be good. The cargo inactivity would be good. All right, I feel like I need to set up potentially passage up here. Hey chat, I think they're feeling funky in this song. <laughs> oh gosh. You're hitting the four hour mark of just mindlessly running raw va vaults in search of uh, pumpkins feels dank, man. Wait, what? You're looking for pumpkins? I'm assuming then you're playing uh, Sky Vaults. I spent that much time looking for carrots. No joke. I spent forever just looking for carrots when I played Sky Vaults. Yeah, that's where RNG really sets in and you understand that maybe RNG isn't always the best option. Maybe having something that counts if you have gotten a vault like that, so many of them, those vaults, and um, you haven't physically walked into a room that had carrots, maybe it would be a higher chance of you getting a room that has carrots. Might be a more complicated thing to probably implement, but still an option. I think this next thing we're about to do is going to be a 
is going to be pretty complicated. Because we're going to need to process all three of these ores. We first need to separate all three of them. That's not going to be as difficult. But you need to process all of them. We might not have to be super fast with this. By the time the train comes back around. We will need crushing wheels for each one. Is much better than when the pack first came out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pack's so much better. You just stopped because the new PoE season came out and IRL happened? Yeah. And I've played a little bit of the new Path of Exile season. Play a little bit of it. Can't all, can't, I just don't have enough time to get into it more. I love Path of Exile, though. It's, I think it's really fun. However, insta dying because of an enemy exploding is not so not so fun. That part's not as fun in path. I think they're reworking that mechanic. EOE will fix it. Yeah, yeah, some copium right there. Exactly. We can only hope. All right, I need a. I don't actually know where my. Um, <laughs> I don't know where it's at actually. Where is where did I put my container of everything? I think it's maybe at the zinc node. Oh, God. Well, that happened. Um, ignore that, chat. Uh, I'm an expert here. Expert. Um, I'm an expert driver. Uh, don't mind me. Um... <laughs> Blind corner. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> Expert crash. That's <just> Tommy. <laughs> Not here. Not here. We miss it. I'm a dummy. It, just ignore me, chat. It's just, it's okay. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. You did see the beacon? Yeah, the beacon is at uh, the iron, iron node. We might want to grab.
I think right here somewhere is where I want my station to be. And I want to, I'll probably want to grab my beacon. We have some flight that'll make life a little easier. Did I see Sky Factory 5? Yeah. Uh, Dark Host has been working on it. I have no idea when Dark Host though has like it planned for release. Oh. Those pro his projects have really long cycles. Like they take a long time to develop. He's got a progress indicator on his screen on his screen. Does it say eventually? <laughs> I haven't looked. I'll be able to look when I'm probably done streaming if he's still streaming today. Oh, progress indicator equals random number generator. That's funny. That's even better. It's all fun and games until it hits that random number and that random number happens to be like one and then he's got explaining to do One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. One, two, three, four. sure he's got his got it limited yeah i have no idea how he finds time for all these like funny little things he does Hey, everything seems nice and level. Just as it should be. It's a joke to any people who badger him. The RNG indicator. Oh, God. I love it. It doesn't bother me any that he does that. I love that. I think that's hilarious. Hmm. Oh, 
Wish you could just open these up in your inventory. Wait, why am I out of those? Oh, shoot. Apparently out of the portable storages. Um, we, to be fair, we have used a lot of them today. You know, we could have a contra- like, instead of doing this number that we've done, we could do a contraption. This needs to run into this station, which I'm going to have. I'm going to have to see how we actually do this. Um, I could put another station here that'll be, like, called Redstone... Right, because this is already heading this way. My train, my other train should stop. I hope. Actually, let's stop real quick. How am I going to do that? <clears throat> I can maybe run this up here. Run some extra redstone. This is way better than what we usually say, which is soon. Yeah, I know he's always hated the whole getting kind of like somewhat harassed, right? Almost. when he's working on a project. I don't want this to try and fill which I feel like it will do when it passes. It's going to try and put logs into my thing and it shouldn't. Maybe we can lower this even more. Then we won't have to worry about it. The suffering from success. <laughs> oh God. Hey, that's, I mean, I, I would say that's a true thing. 100% a true thing. You can totally suffer from success. Are you off because this train's here? Here we go again. I think that I can't like place him on here. Not with the quantum catcher at least.
There you are. Redstone. You would need a lead. Okay. I'm watching the train signals. Approach the train station. Okay. So I, I do want the train to approach this train station. But differently. Probably right there. So I'm looking at two blocks ahead. Redstone collect. Forty bow. Yeah, the way to get past the mobs on the seat is to use a lead on it and right click it on the seat. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay. There's that. Now I'm wondering <clears throat> how I want to go about doing this. I only need one. But man, how do I want to go about doing that? How do I want to get the items up? Do I just use a fan? That's pretty slow. Buffer inventory? Well, we can do an inventory up here. Mm. 
You can use sophisticated storage memory. Hmm. Well, we know we need to pull the items immediately out of this. And we are going to limit with a filter what it can pull out. But to be able to better limit what it can pull out, we probably need to have a belt. Wireless functional storage. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Pulling directly out here is going to, it's, it's, we won't have the ability to limit anything. Okay. So yeah, this is probably where we'll have to do the same thing as the other side. Giving ourselves enough room. Wireless functional storage? Yeah, that was completely nerfed. Yeah. I mean, we shouldn't have redstone in here, but just in case we do. So we know here we're going to need a brass, and here we're going to need a brass. Well, actually, not necessarily here. We don't need a brass there. And a sight. <clears throat> and we'll just filter out what, what the thing is we actually want being pulled out of here. Possibly early on, though, we want everything being pulled out of here. Your entire use them and ID. Yeah, integrated dynamics, no. The wireless stuff, they removed it. How is it possible to have knowledge about that many mods? I've just been doing it for a long time, man. I've been playing with these, this game for a long time with all of these different mods, a lot of research, just like you become educated in a lot of other things. For some reason, for me, it was just mods, I guess.
Mm. Oh, interesting. I didn't go back farther than this. I mean, that's fine. We have room. All right, let's get ourselves a gearbox. Let's see if we need any rotation on this. There we go. You're back done doing what you had to do. There you go. All right. And then to get the items up into this and on this level, it's good old trusty fan. And that needs to be pulling. That is pulling. I might want a rotational speed controller. I still don't know just yet. This speed might be fine. We will want a rotational speed controller though on the crushers. Okay. I think we're gonna need to go get at least one of each material and then possibly grab some filters because we need filters for redstone too. I need a bunch of you. Then I need all of the different create materials. So there's Okram or Akram. There's Crimsonite. Az Azarine. A missing one. Uh, do, 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 do. What is it? The one for zinc? The green. I don't have any. Iridium, yeah. I have no idea how I don't have any, but I don't. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and grab that. Just need one. Lizzie, welcome in. How are you doing? I know you asked me how I, hey, 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 how are you doing? <laughs> We've spent all day setting up trains that run through this entire area. It has been a thing. Um, I should probably place like this. Right here. And then turn my squirrel on. There it is. Hmm. 
Not bad. Was too hot here, though. What? Glad to have air conditioning. God, it's not it's not hot at all here. It's cold. Darn, freezing. Still freezing here. Chosen if you played Call of Duty 3. Modern Warfare 3? No. I just I don't want to go and spend the money on Call of Duty 3 and then only play it once and then never touch it again because that's usually what happens to me with Call of Duty. And I'm like, why did I just spend 60 bucks on this? Like, why? <clears throat> Feels like a waste to me. Specifically to me. All right, there's our three, or our four, sorry, not three. Four materials. I need to set up a filter. Allow list. That goes on you. Only allowed to pull those items out. We got spoiled by Minecraft being so cheap for a length of game. Like, dude, it's... This game's insane, right? This is the, the amount of game game time I've gotten out of this game is unreal. Unreal. <laughs> Too much. Some would say. Super humid. I I live in Missouri, so it's not it's cold right now. In good old Missouri. Like, I haven't even had to turn my air conditioner on. I have my heater on right now. All right. Let's put that there. Oop. All right. So, first things first is all of these materials, they all, except for copper, I think, they all get washed. This get, doesn't get washed, does it? Oh, it does get washed. Turn it in. Okay, we got we get clay out of this. We also get nuggies. So we get nuggies, and we get eighty percent chance of raw copper. This gets washed. Okay, that's easy. This is it all going to be the same? Brushed, washed. Okay. Brushed. Wash. Brushed. Wash. Ooh, we get gunpowder. Ooh. What's the gold give us? Ooh. New Zealand, so it's the middle of summer there. Oh, good God. Yeah. So we're going to get a lot of awesome stuff. We're going to get quartz, gunpowder, and clay all from this. Along with all the ore types. So, so all of this can be processed in one spell swoop. Right? With, uh, with our wheels. Right? Just like this. It'll be crushed all in one fell swoop. And then we should probably run it through like a bulk washer right here. Just everything. Just everything gets ran through a bulk washer. We'll limit this to 16. Um, and then we can do a bunch of fans. Yeah, we can just do like a washing. You have your washing fan to shoot down the line. Yeah. Well, this is kind of in the way. I mean, I have a solution to that, but... 
I was wanting to put everything in one container, one barrel that's compacting everything. I was wanting to use sophisticated to store everything. And I think that would work. I just got to figure out. Oh, God. I'm tripping me up. I see. I see how it is. Oh, they're always so mean to me. He's always want me to die. Jeez, champ. They're always out to get me. I mean, I can, I can actually have it look, it'll look weird, I think, but I could possibly have a fan that's on the belt. Like this. And then I can just put water on here and a bunch of trapdoors. Technically. <laughs> I mean, this is like really like jank to do it this way, but sometimes this is just whatever works. Why can't we launch anymore? You guys launched me too much. No. Uh, the launching, it's because um, this pack is a little bit different than the other, than my pack. My pack, I knew it wouldn't take very long to have like a, to be completed. <clears throat> this one's a different story. Now I can't see anything. Um, so that should go through. We just need to set up our trap doors. I think it should work. I think that works. Yeah. Cause we could have water above this. Yeah. And this should blow. Yeah. That should work. It will go under the fan. Yeah, it should go under the fan. That I'm almost positive of. Okay, that is actually sucking. We need it to do the opposite. And then I I would need to speed this up a little bit faster, so we probably put a speed controller on the entirety of this. Just to speed it up a little bit. Um But this needs to speed the spin the other way. Good way to do that. Would be to use Maybe this and this. There we go. I 
fucking works if you place the source at the end of the fan? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because we only need one water source right here. Hmm. We get some trap doors. <laughs> But leaves uh, doesn't work in this version. You can't waterlog leaves in this version. This is 118. I think that's a newer version of Minecraft thing. Beast! Thank you so much for the tier one for five months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. That should let me place water in. Um, problem is, is I don't know if my water spell is going to waterlog the belt or not. Um, it is. That doesn't work. There we go. Dude, are you loving the All The Mods 9 series on YouTube? Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I ha I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I am having a lot of fun. And I am so excited to like try for the All The Mods star and have all that done. It is a it is kind of a lot to put everything together, but man, once you get it done, it feels so good. Oh, we can't do that because of that. That's right. Duh. Duh chosen. Could you imagine the structural integrity of this? <laughs> that would be awful. I'd be asking for an accident.
Oh wait, now we have another problem. It's our belts is definitely not the right speed. Okay, so the belts are going to need to be on a different pace, but it's also going to slow this down. Oh no. That's why I think I want to go the other route. I'm pretty sure this is too fast. <laughs> Way too fast. Could you imagine safety instructions at your facility? Oh god, it would be too much. Yeah, I feel like this is just not going to work. I'm going to go back to my old-fashioned setup. It was uh, worth looking into something new. I do have a solution for this, though. So, it is going to be a waterlogged belt. Uh, we do need... How many fans? Because <clears throat> I'll have an import on here. Um, I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Because it doesn't have to be complicated. Fan. 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 Wrong. What am I doing? Just two fans. Three fans. You can waterlog leaves too. Much prettier. <clears throat> I don't think, unless it was a some feature added. Like I said, like I'm pretty sure I cannot waterlog leaves. I know that it's probably seen in a clip, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, every version in Minecraft's different, unfortunately. I would love to have those features, trust me. Yeah, the swamp trees, and I don't think they're in 118 either. <laughs> the swamp trees aren't in 118. Honestly, these speed controllers need to be in my setup, but we'll worry about that eventually. All right. Um, I'll go like that. Um, and then I need some gear boxes. One of these. I 
I need to take rotate rotational energy from this. Send it down into my fans. And I don't know if on this setup with it waterlogged, I don't know if it matters which direction it's pulling or pulling from. But I, I typically like it to be pushing. Hey, I, I see you now. You can go. Well, thanks for the lead that I, I need to technically keep in my inventory. <laughs> I should probably keep that lead in there. Okay, I don't have any chain drives. I'm kind of out of chain drives. I have two. Oh, shoot. But yeah, I wonder if gearboxes work. So ugly. Oh shoot, that connects. Wait, 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 that should not be connecting. I hate that it does that. Auto rotates. Um okay. Call me crazy for doing this. But It works. You can have one blowing up, one blowing down for four times. I don't think I need it. I don't need it. I don't need it to be any faster. Just requires summoning Cthulhu to break the rules of physics to wire it all. Oh, jeez. Okay. Need an attribute filter.
All right, in the attributes filter, let's remove this attribute. This currently can be selected. Okay, can be washed. I'll, then we set it to a deny list. If it can be washed, deny it. Everything else goes through. What's that filter? That's a, it's an attribute filter. It lets you use tags and stuff to filter from create. Okay, so this is going. Items go in from here. And we have it filtered, so only those things can go in. I should just set it up to deny redstone. Yeah, let's just set it to deny redstone. Deny list. Deny redstone. The way to let everything else through. Okay. Um, all right. And then we also need to get the redstone set up so that way we send redstone into the machine here, into this. That's a whole thing in itself. Oh my god, there's my encased chain drives. That's why I was out of them. Just make sure none of your byproducts can also be washed. Yeah, I don't think quartz can be washed. Nope. Be crush. Play. Nope. And. The heck is a glow fire? I don't know. It sounds cool, though. All right. So now for the fun part. Um, let's get this item distribution area set up for this. to figure out what I should do to I guess we could just use a um yeah we can hook it up to this and this is where we're gonna use we're gonna use something goofy here but I'm all about goofy weighted ejector baby That's a lot of redstone. Yeah, we got a lot of redstone on the belt because this is all from our main production line. I don't want to set it yet. And this is... Probably not going to send any, right? When it blocks like this. That's something I got to account for. I bet.
Okay. But we also, on this, we want to make sure that this never sends too much redstone. Um, so we want to do a threshold switch. Um, and we'll set a threshold switch just like we have this one over here. Threshold switch. We can say a redstone. And then we'll say keep a low amount. I mean, we need we need a bit in there. One, two, three. I mean, we can do like 10% of the container, maybe redstone. Maybe 15. Yeah, 10%. I think 10% is good. This should not hopefully interfere with this. This is the only thing I'm worried about is if this, this shouldn't interact with it, I don't think. Unless it's on the station. No, it'll just go. It'll kiss, but... Yeah, I know it's backlogged, but this will this will fix the backlog problem. I, trust me. This needs to be set to round robin. That'll fix the backlog. Um, where's my controls? Oh, that's right. I need to assemble my train. Okay. The threshold, I need a redstone torch. I almost forgot about that. This needs a redstone torch, and then this needs to be on invert. So at this point, right, we need to we need to set up our our train conductor, right? And set up our schedule. Okay. <clears throat> we need to figure out who's going to be conducting the train. Maybe we should do a Starbuncle. That would be kind of cute. I know, uh, I think Evaporate wanted to, to do it as well. I don't know how easy it is to get a hostile mob. Oh, we gotta, we do have to do this though. Um, we have to go through it on all the outputs. We need four filters that say no redstone. Deny redstone. Or, yeah, deny redstone. And then I need to make sure they're all set to redstone. And then I also need these, and then we need it all set to, yeah, redstone. Name it Bunkle. All right, each station here. All right, and we we still have to get rotational power on all of these, so we're not we're not done yet. Not done yet. Okay, so this is initially going to send the redstone. So this needs 
specifically redstone. This needs to be a deny redstone, right? Deny redstone. Everything else comes out. Awesome progress chosen. Thank you. We're getting there. Okay. Same on this. Only redstone. Deny. Only redstone. Deny. We will have to go through and I think limit. We need to limit these. I think we'd have like maybe two sets. Exactly maybe two things. That'll do like two pulses of this. Needs to be a deny redstone. Okay, and then we we also need to give it rotational power. And I think for this, we can just use water wheels underneath. I think water wheels will be pretty straightforward. And then we gotta get, we gotta farm a couple of star bunkles. I think that's it. That should be done. Water wheels. Okay. So we need rotational energy. So we'll just use regular water wheels. I guess I'll bring some vertical gearboxes, I think. Shafts. Oh. Whoops. All right, we just need to rotate this middle section. Then we need to figure out what direction we need this spinning in. This, it needs to be rotating the other direction. Okay, so that, now we know what direction all of them need to be rotating in. Like this. And that, that's probably more than enough. Dude, you've getting so much done. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Okay, there we go. That one's done. We're about to have ores fully, are all ingots fully automated. 
I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. <laughs> That's so giving, dude. Thank you again. For tripping me up. I should, why am I thanking you for tripping me? God, I shouldn't be doing that. I always think too much. What am I thinking? Thank you for tripping me up. Jesus. Oh man, my hope is that this actually works. Oh, 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 I'm kind of messing up here. If I do set the schedule up and I stop this, I will be hating myself for not doing this initially. Because this will be a lot for these to start with. I guess I have to come back here anyways, but... I think I'm going to do a set of two. So it, it should hold roughly two stacks of redstone onto this contraption. This is, you know, and honestly, that is kind of a semi-complex um, redstone setup that we're doing for this. Like, this is kind of, kind of complicated if you think about it too much. The fact that we are, while the train delivers this, it will put two on the belt. And then when the train leaves, that's when it puts it into the contraption. So that way we don't jam up our uh, our train. There's a lot of a lot of like different things we've got to manage here. I may slow you down a bit. You're welcome. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> now we just got to get the minions. Little minions. Um, we're gonna have to make some star bunkles. We also need to make sure all of those are chunk loaded so the contraptions can function. And then we also need to make a, uh, a barrel from Sophisticated that has a lot of storage upgrades. Um, let me actually hop out of here real quick.
we're almost ready to have unlimited of some of these really nice resources that I may or may not actually need. The Starbuckle wheels, we just need the actual Starbuckle shards, um, which we need gold for. Gold. Nuggies. And so we're going to need quite a few. We get we get a couple for each process we do, though. All right, chat. I will be right back. Give me just a moment. Same page and like, yeah, be nice. <clears throat> I lose track all the time. I think I can still... No, I can't. Well, that's crapshot. Oh no. <laughs> he just laying on my dead body. Oh no. Oh no. Pups can go through. That's very interesting. We're going to be making hopefully a farm that's based around this. <laughs> I don't think that was ever meant to be seen. All right, chat. Told you I'd be back. Quickly. <laughs> All right, let's go on an adventure. Now, with all of this done, we just got to hope that all of our logic works. Um, Train schedule. We also want... One of these to pick up a Starbuncle. See if there's any Starbies out here. We can see them on the mini-map, which is really nice. Oh god, let's avoid that area. Wait, this is right by the house? Have I looted this? Oh, I have. There are actually Starbuncle structures. They're Starbuckles. So here's the conductor. Get it. This is going to take a while. Ooh. Is it possible to ring a bell every time the train reaches a station? Yes, you can just put a, um... We could put a train horn on the train. I think we're more likely to find Drigmies in plains biomes. It gives you, it can give you two sometimes. What 
Boy, it is all lagging for some reason. See, we should have two. We have one, we have a star wheel on us. Hey Chosen, what are you going to put as the conductor on the train? A Starbuncle. I, wa I was going to put a Starbuncle on there. Evaporate was wanting to be on there. And I know Ducky wanted to be on one, but I don't have them stored away. I don't think I have a spare Ducky for a conductor. The problem with using hostile mobs as your conductor is whenever they... Uh, Disappear. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, whenever they come off and they start attacking you. That's my base. Use gold blocks to speed up the rotation. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. It's too fast. It's too fast on them. It is too fast. Do you have to name tag it. I don't think passive mobs despawn, but we can name tag it. Dungeon. I keep going to the wrong place. See if there's any Starbuncles along the way here. I do know there's Starbuncles pretty close around the base because we have a Starbuncle Shrine. Yeah, there's a bunch. Twelve. Might just end up being an insanely difficult task. Dang, the fact that they cost so many starbuncles. When we can just use a water wheel. <sighs> Let's do that. Let's just do water wheels. Coffee time 60. Got Turn on done. the sprinkler. This. Hello. Making it rain 500 bits. Coming back around. <laughs> test, 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 test. Oh, goodness. Welcome. Thank you for the 500 bitties. I appreciate that a lot. A little tip of Runo. Hope you're having a good day. Hello to you as well. Maybe make a bit pit for your bits you get. Oh God. All right, how many Starbucks? I know I have one. The 
this one. That doesn't really need to be here. Yeah, I think we have enough. Yeah, that, that should be enough. Right, we should have a Starby Wheel. There's one. There's another one. Apparently I'm dead now, yes. I did, I did take you out. You are now unalived. Well, in game, of course. Of course. And then there is a Starby wheel that is down underground. Um, and I could probably just could probably do that one. Put everything in here for right now. Just so much of my inventory and I'm getting I'm getting lost. Let's do water wheel gear boxes. And let's go take that other Starby wheel. This is enough. Stress. Yeah, that's plenty. Then I have enough to make one more. And that'd be four. Help, I have six ads! user prime <laughs> time for them prime subs chat All right. So there's four water wheels. Oh, I'm so excited. Also have a star bungle over here. Okay. As you get a mineral sapling, you just keep farming the mineral saplings. That is the best way to get the mineral in here. Um, and then you need to automate the mineral. Right. With a tree. Which mine apparently has stopped working. Uh, I blame this no worky. What in the world?
Please name your portals. I don't know where each one goes. They are named. All of them are named. All of my portals are named. Well, I don't see them. Well, I, but they are named. All of them are named. One's named Redstone Inn, or one's, one's named Redstone Hell. One is named uh, Creation Station. One's named Main Bay, Main Storage. One name's End. Okay, is my redstone not working? Why are you locked? If there's no mineral saplings in here, how are you locked? What I want to know. Why? How? Okay. Does this need to be inverted? Or is this somehow inverting the redstone and creating some loop? Emit a redstone signal when there's enough in there, then it will work. Okay, that's probably what I need. There we go. Well, that's not what I needed to do. Magnet. Too strong. There it went. We replanted. Even though this should technically have saplings on it and be ready to send to this. Why is this say? This has got to be locking it or something. I think there's a sapling missing in the deployer there there's not there's a um it's a card that does this that you're seeing right there it's a i'm using a schematic so it's using a schematic all right anyways um sometimes that's what i gotta do i gotta like go back and forth and sometimes figure out what issues are popping up that's one of them all right um carbuncle wheels right bearings carbuncles and then that we get that cranked and then we need the schedules um Train schedule. And then my clipboard and then Starbuncle. And then apparently a lead puts it on the train. 
new one for me, but um Should we we should also probably put another seat on here. That's not necessary. I just don't want the whole thing to come crashing down, but we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go get this on here first. Then we'll see it chunk loaded. Chosen, you can connect the crafters together. I know. We, we've done that. We've done the crafters together. It's all throughout the base. All right. This. You. Just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. All right. Now, this needs to make sure it is chunk loaded. I wonder how much of this area actually needs to be chunk loaded. Probably not a whole lot. Outside of that, we should be good. Yep. That area is done. Yeah, the uh, the connecting the crafters together. Yeah, it's so nice to be able to, for example, hopper things in or or use a uh, many different things. That is very nice. Then we can decorate these once things are up and running. We just got to be careful because if this right clicks that block while this thing or it starts to generate while this thing is not placed in, it will delete uh, blocks. So <clears throat> that's something to keep in mind. All right. I think we're <laughs> we're like right here on the verge. We just got to set up our train schedule and then we need an inventory. Train schedule and then make our storage. Ooh, we
All right, so. We should probably do a shulker box. That way we can just move it later. Can you do this for any tier? Oh, you can. Oh, this is already a shulker box. Oh, did I just take my current shulker box and upgrade it? Um. I, I'm so confused right now. No. Right? No, there's my shulker box. Okay, so for this, we just need, uh, we need compacting upgrades. And then we just need some major storage upgrades. I mean, that's a lot. If we go up again, we're cutting into our diamonds. We still have to mine for diamonds, so. All right, that's that's a big container right there. <laughs> that's a pretty big container. I upgraded the iron chest to a shulker. Okay, so I, I made a mistake. I wonder if I did this correctly once. Oh my god, I don't know how I did that, but I did. I managed to lay this right where it needed to be. Alright, there's that bad boy. Now we got plenty of storage. That will compact itself if it has an uncrafting recipe. If not, it's going to hold thousands of items. It's weird that it doesn't show me in this version how many items it's going to be storing. But in another 118 pack, it does. So is this, is this in a, this, is it just the shulker maybe that doesn't show the amount? Or maybe it's the version that they're running on this. I don't know. Seems it's not updated, yeah. All right, now for the fun part. We've got to set a schedule.
Okay. So, first thing we need to do, uh, I guess we need to set our train schedule to say first task travel to. Travel to station. Stados, I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, and then this is the... We're going to travel to... Do we need to put this station first? Or depot? I guess this will be last. Free to be seen. You survived the two, uh, 2024 RIF. The new annual tradition sucks. When you say RIF, that's referring to the layoffs. That's kind of had me worried. I was like, I wonder, I hope the people that I normally see in my, my chat is not going to be laid off because that sucks. 35% got fired last year, 35-ish this year. Jesus Christ. Cargo inactivity. We need to travel to... Actually, what's the next place we need to travel to? So zinc, iron, gold, copper. We need to travel to zinc. Iron, right? Iron. They hired too many people during COVID. Uh, didn't keep growing after COVID ended. Yeah, that's that's about right. Yep, yep, yep. That makes a hundred percent sense. <laughs> Cargo and activity. Then back to or depot. You got here in the middle of everything. What's happening evaporate. today? Evaporate. Dab causing hey, 1,000 bits to fall into Chosen's heads. <laughs> Come back, have some sussy bits. There we go. We can actually try and... I don't know how I'm going to be able to get you potentially on the thing. But I can try and put you on the train. I don't know how that's going to work, though. <laughs> Think of the 1,000 more bits, by the way. Uh, Yeah, Sadus, we are in the middle of... A massive ore processing thing it's it's something else like massive ore automation on four different nodes that produce copper zinc gold and iron for us and so things are about to get real and i'm kind of curious how this is gonna go okay how am i gonna get you 
I'm assuming this will work. Why won't you seat? Set on the seat. CCI not working? Yeah, yeah, CCI is working. It worked. It spawned them in. I see the sussy bits. I'm the... Ugh. The, uh, uh, the sus bits. I swear. I can't be the only one that thinks that looks like a schlong. I don't know if this will work. You think you used to have a sub? All right, give me just a second. Just cause. Sorry about that, chance. Zephyr, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Are you on there yet? Okay. Something said, like, you can use a lead. That's only on a passive mob. So I'm going to say that, yeah, Ducky was on there once, but I don't know why. I don't know why it's not working now. The train is assembled. I'm going to call strange on that one. I have no idea. Well... Back to the one that we're going to be using, I guess. Starbuncle, where are you at? <laughs> Lame. <laughs> I know, I was, I don't know why it won't let me. Off you go! Oh god. Should refill with redstone. Oh! Wait. Okay, you've got- you've got to go. Oh shoot, um... Why did it do that? Why did my train... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why? Does these, did the signals not work? <laughs> I send it off for an insta crash. Is it just bad timing?
Okay, maybe... Huh. My signals are not correct. Or something. They're too far into the curve. That sucks because all of these are set. How do I not bounce? That means I probably need to reset this. Maybe that'll help. What's up with the two NPCs that you had before? The you're talking about when people uh, drop bits, like the supporter stuff. Oh, there's Doggo coming in. Okay, Doggo should be rolling in. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Why'd you stop? Okay. Okay. Now I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I did my train signals. Cause I don't, I don't understand the train signal system very well. I'm assuming it will restart once this goes through. Okay. You guys are drunk right now. I don't, it's gone. What are you waiting on? It's gone. Why is it red? Are you the lag detection doggo now? <laughs> yeah. What the flip? Yes. You're the lag detection doggo. I'm a bit confused.
You think the signal thinks the entire network's the entire segment's one network? Yeah, how do I define that? That's what I'm the train signals are so odd to me. And I thought we had it set up so that way in any intersection they just wouldn't mess with each other. Ooh, 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 do I see it working? Do I see it working? Oh, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. That was it. Here it goes. Uh oh. Oh. What? It shouldn't be doing this. How is it allowing them together? Well, that works. I thought they were going to crash. Hold the train signal so you can see the colors. that's set up I think correctly so this one's not set up correctly this blue network runs the blue network is also connected to here why though okay blue is connected all around that's yellow, it's blue. Is there just no no more colors? It's seeing all of that as blue. So how do I, how do I change? Do I have to toggle? Is there like a way to toggle? What does this do? Allow passage if sections fully traversable. Allow passage fully Do we need that on all of them? A lot of passage of section is unoccupied. Okay, so they're they're too far in, you're saying the curve. So this side it's been fixed. This side is fixed, but these all need to be fixed. Like this needs to be fixed. Can 
Can I, am I able to pause you? Okay, so that is the issue. <laughs> I guess you learned something. I, 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 I'm learning. I know it's a bit of a pain, but I, I'm learning, I guess. There we go. That looks more like it. Now I'm getting what the colors mean. in different colors. I would say this is relatively complicated as well. Like this is pretty darn complicated. Managing full rail systems. It reminds you of Factorio. Yeah, I'm unfamiliar with Factorio. Hey, that's a different color track. That's different colors. That's different colors. That's different color. That different different color. Might as well fix this because this is going to be wrong later on. And I'm going to be like, why is this broken? What have, what is it broken? What did I do wrong? Blue, blue, blue. Oh, this is wrong. Color. All different colors. Okay. Now we should be good. Who, this is the, my zinc one. Be free. Be free. Voila. We have done it.
Okay. Now I kind of want to see what this looks like. To be fair. Let's see what the, uh... This section looks like when it comes into play. Drops off redstone, but it's locked, so it doesn't send it in. Okay, and then it waits. It has nothing to receive. The redstone goes into the contraption now, and then it regenerates, and then it harvests. We could probably allow a few more redstone in, but I still think, I think this is good. Oh, man, you should see my face. This is... Uh, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy right now. I want to kind of make sure it gets done with all of this before the train comes back around. Man, this is working so good. Our train hasn't even came back yet. Here comes the train. Oh, it's so good. Okay. So if anything, we could we could maybe set it to like three redstone, but I still feel like it's it's hitting near peak. Peak performance. Cuz I think if I poke it too much with redstone, it's not going to do too much. You've noticed if, uh, notice that if the contraption overlaps perfectly with a block, the block will always render in front. You're talking about over here? It doesn't seem to do that always. It does on this side, but it's not over here. Here it comes again. The thing I'm worried about, though, is its distribution of redstone because of how much it's sending to this. We might need to limit it like one redstone per. Right now it's sending two. That's so good. It could also be an issue with the way that we're distributing our redstone here. I do have this set pretty low. And it seems like it's doing pretty good. We'll have to see. I think given enough time, we'll see how this goes. All of our redstone should be going into this system. Like, this thing's actually backed up in full. And has nowhere to send the redstone right now. Chat, but it's... Oh, we should have resources now in here. Oh. Wait, we don't have gold. Why do we have gold?
There's mineral logs in my train. Uh, they're in there because we need to fuel our redstone setup. And so those logs go in there. Okay, why... Are we not receiving okram? Oh, it's only a 20% chance. That's a lot. Still, we should have some. I'll wait for the train to come by. Does it need to be claimed? I would say yes. It needs to be chunk loaded. The train, however, as it travels through, I don't think it does. Probably looks like a mini racetrack, honestly. Oh, but this is fabulous, man. And then we can decorate it. There's our train. So it's currently unloading. So the unloading process could be faster. Oh. Okay. The inactivity on the schedule probably needs to be set to 10 seconds. Let me pop this schedule off here. Give me that. Inactivity on the schedule definitely needs to be more. Two, let's do 15 seconds. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is neat. Ooh, this is sending out my coal. Um... Yeah, we're not giving this enough time. I think on the this node or depot. Um cargo and activity player seated red zone item cargo condition. Reference item filters can be used. Less than exactly. We would need it to dump everything. Um, I want that coal out of there. Because I don't want my... I know it's going to happen. It's going to go into the crusher and it's going to delete all of that coal. And those are blocks of coal that we initially farmed from these things. Need a filter.
Why don't I just keep them in my bag? I can, yeah, I can just slap it. I think we can place it right on it, right? While it's stationed. If I put it on here, I could filter out exactly what I want. Oh no, it has to be... Yeah, our schedules are kind of messed up, and so it was definitely messing with this whole system. But... And then let's filter our setup here. We need a filter with these three items in it. And what we need to say is, hey, if the cargo is at zero on this filter, if the cargo item cargo condition if the cargo is less than one, or you can do exactly zero. I'm gonna do just equal zero. Continue. And then send it on its way. Should put another seat right here. That way I can ride along. This turns really trippy up on this. Give this bad boy go though. Will it fully empty this whole thing though? And we might be full. Ah, <sighs> King Draggle, how are you doing as well? I'm doing fine, fantastic. You ready to go, little star bungle? He's so cute.
So if we have four stops of 15 seconds, that's a full minute to do its operations. I dare say you pop another layer of storage. Well, we should never, ha it should never be full. You know, the, the storage should never be at its full capacity. That's got to go faster. But in reality, there shouldn't be that much. Is it just cycling the items around? Yeah. That should be able to hold quite a few blocks. That's a lot of gold that it needs to process, but we should have it. Now it should set there and it will dump the entire inventory until it's completely cycled out. All of these technically need to be sped up. They, they got to be sped faster. This is too slow. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, each operation maybe does what? Three stacks at most. Each, each round, maybe we'll produce three stacks, two stacks maybe, of this material. I don't know how much the area is on the generation point. But the fact that this is even doing this and we got this set up is amazing. This is infinite resources, chat. This is infinite resources. Will we beat it? Will we beat this darn train? Oh, whoa, wait, why are we not processing? Why? Oh, very strange. He was blocked for some reason. This has no filter. Yeah, Crimsonite is on a filter. It's in there. Why is it not pulling out these blocks. Oh, that's right. I have item stacks limit. Oh, we need it to be any. There we go. I'm a dork. Otherwise, it's going to fill up and get stuck. I'm stupid. <laughs> But our train should stay here until it's all processed. All processed, boy. Look at that. Look at our bottleneck, though. Oh, boy. Um, I would say more fans. This would be faster, but you got to remember this is our backlog. This is going to... This will change. Oof, we should start seeing the resources. Oh, we're going to be getting all the resources. Oh boy. Can't you hear the excitement in my voice? I am Dude, this is so much. Things can despawn in shoots. They should not be able to despawn in shoots. Do items despawn in shoots from create. I'm pretty sure they don't despawn in the shoots. Now, if there's items in the world floating above shoots, they they would.
But there should never be items in here despawning. And if that was the case, we would never... If that was the, if that's the case, then this would never be backlogged. Because there's 64 in each of these shoots. So I don't think that's true. The fact that this was just from a few minutes uh, is kind of scary, actually. That's a lot of resources we're generating right now. I don't think Flint's actually in our list. I don't think we get Flint from anything here because we're not technically getting gravel from anything. That was just from Cobble that was running into that. This is exactly what we're getting. Yeah, shoots are like hoppers. Yeah, yeah. Like gravel should not be in this, but that's because we're, we have cobble and stuff from when the, the machines initially did their run. I'll just let it run through. It's not a big deal. It's going to turn into iron anyways. Yep, we washed some coal. You can never have too much flint. No, nope. actually flint looks really good in this. That's a good looking block. And it has other options from architect's ballot. I think that's a good looking block. But dang chat, dude. 23 blocks of iron. God. This annihilates any other source that we've been using to generate resources from. Well, I have to go. Have a good night. Finish your gaming. Have a good one. Appreciate you, my dude. So satisfying. It is. It what's going to be even better is, oh, anytime we need any of these resources, we just have them. Lots of them. We can just build with copper. We'll have infinite building blocks. As long as our redstone production maintains itself, we don't have to worry about that. This has been fun to build. Oh, our train's off. That means this is the last of it. Never use zinc to build? Wonder if it looks nice. I don't know what we would use it to build. I mean, there's zinc sheet metal from Create Deco. And I think the, the sheet metal have options. Yeah, and then the sheet metal has options, like vertical slabs. Kind of cool. I thought this is kind of funny washing copper.
The stack upgrades are so powerful for this. The quartz should be made into blocks. I don't want them turned into blocks. They're uncraftable at, like, like that. Um, we'd have to... If they were turned into blocks... The only way to get them back out of block form... Would be, I think, to crush them. Oh, there's not even a there's not even a way to do that. Pulverizer, multi servo press, an unpacking die is the only way in this pack. Oh, we can also use a cutting board. Compressing upgrade. Yeah, by default, if you if you click this though, it will compact everything, including this recipe, which is awful, by the way. Um, there's a recipe that compresses four blocks of iron into I uh, plate iron. Then plate iron can be turned into cut iron, so it will do it all the way to cut iron. And guess what you can do with cut iron? You can smelt one down to get iron. So you've essentially turned nine iron into one iron. <laughs> because it's an uh, it doesn't have a recipe to go backwards. That's it. This is our last one that just got put on the belt right now from our backlog. Now, outside of this, every time this thing comes into the station, it should have a brand new load of materials. Um, at a cost of sending off the redstone. And that's where I'm a little worried because four redstone per operation in this requires a lot of redstone. And I, we, we don't, we're not producing it that fast. Like, we have a backlog of redstone, don't be wrong. But this is going to chew through it, as you can see. This is not free yet. Free means we need to go and up our redstone production a lot. Time to automate more redstone. I mean, we already have redstone automated. We just have to do more uh and now that we have brass this will actually be easier what are you saying it's 144 iron to one iron. Oh, you're talking about that process? Yeah, it's awful. This is my OG setup for farming one of these. It's kind of cool. I need to set this to inactivity.
I think this is limiting factor is the speed of this. So if we just used a speed controller, I bet we could crank this up. I bet we could crank this bad boy up. This is, uh, this is exactly what you think it is. Silverfish being crushed. <laughs> this is your favorite machine. The Silverfish Crusher 9000. Yeah, uh, rotational speed controller and we should be good here actually. I think we have enough stress. It's all tapped into one thing. So let me get a rotation controller. I bet we could speed that bad boy up. It's gonna not, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good chat, but you know, sometimes you didn't get to see me make it. Would you love it? Oh, it's good. It is good. It's the Silverfish Crusher 9000. Okay. Um, I'm going to need that. going to need this. going to need this. And possibly this. And then I also definitely need this. Uh, and then we're going to be limited on how quickly we are producing gravel and how quickly we're producing cobblestone because we can't make that go any faster. Then we're in, tr we're in trouble if we do that. Okay, so at what position am I receiving power? Is it right here? I believe. Yes, it is here. That is coming from there. So, I got it. I got Trace and Tech over here. Holy smokes. If we could maybe unconnect this that would disconnect everything here and then we tap into this I think that would power everything we get this belt spinning the right way. This is connected to this. Um, That gets everything spinning. Oh boy. Here we go. 
Do we have the power? Oh no, I don't know. Do we have the stress? Nope. Oh no. Time for more water wheels. We need more water wheels. Stat. We're getting on it. I'm getting on it. I'm getting on it. You have free water? Yeah, but that's... Yeah, that's nothing compared to what we're about to do. I know. I shouldn't be pushing it this long during the stream, but I want to get this done. I want to... <laughs> I want to get it done. Make engines. I don't have lava directly here, so that's my problem with using that. Okay. Sixty-four. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Love you, YouTube. You're like my favorite YouTuber, Ninja. Welcome in. That's some kind words. More water power. Heck yeah. Okay, we're about to let this thing grip. I mean, just how easy this is to set up. That's why. I want to do it. I think that's mainly why. Okay, I need to go 32 blocks from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Let's say I bet just adding this would let me get to that point. All 
I wonder if this is enough. Is this enough? This is enough alone. Come on, let me go to max. Oh my god, it is. All right. So now we really should be kicking some butt, right? Or do we have another problem? Is something not working? Oh. Wait. Mixer isn't mixing. Yeah, it's not, is it? The world? Oh, it isn't powered, is it? Oh, I bet one of the gears broke. Oh, I know what happened. Because of the speed, the rotational speed. Oh, yeah. It can't. It needs to be a regular cog. Crap. I gotta go back. <laughs> this is what I get. That's what I get, chat. Thankfully, I can just get it from here real quick. I don't know why I'm stressed, but this has got me stressed. Weird. Okay, now it's overstressed? Are you kidding me? It's okay. We can run it like just slightly under max. Where does it stop at? Two hundred fifty revolutions per minute, or is it per tick? I don't actually know. Probably per minute. Now it should be working, right? Yeah, now it's going real fast. This is a limit. see how it handles things. I don't know. I'm sure there's a better way to loop these things after realizing how we could do these loop processes. We like realize that like Rose Quartz makes three steeds. This is a 39 and then two random salvage should be two seeds back. But it's chance based. You're always guaranteed a cluster. I mean, this is making it faster. This is probably producing it about as fast as it can at this, which which is one setup.
Also, I do wonder, this does not have a void upgrade in it, right? No. Okay, good. Yeah, I feel like this setup is going to have to be, like, re-engineered. 100%. But, for now, it's going to get the job done, and we have unlimited resources after today. So, what a stream, chat. Look at that, 96 blocks of iron now. Holy smokes. I don't know where we got 10 from, but apparently we have that. We get we got experience from some random stuff. I don't really know what they got it from, but look at this. That is just fantastic. That is just absolutely beautiful. Box of flint. We don't get flint from anything. Should just look like this. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, 208 blocks of copper in just like a couple of seconds. It feels like it just went by. Can't beat it. Can't beat it, chat. So, with that being said, I think it's time to find somebody to raid today. Because I feel like... We have hit a milestone. We have completed that fun automation task. And I'm pretty satisfied. So till next time, right? Till next time. wonder who we're going to raid today. Who shall we raid? Almost dinner time, I think, for me and the wife. Almost dinner time. Get our inventory sorted up here. Everything in place. Look at that. I'll be nice and ready for next stream, that's for sure. we got in here old blocks all right that was amazing thank you Joseph thank you thank you thank you thank you for hanging out with me today guys it's been fun I feel like we achieved and we done something spectacular today in nine hours it took but also more than that it took several hours uh because we did also do more I think we started with 32 hours in our bottle today now we have 46 Holy smokes. We are putting in the hours in this world. We are now at 5.1 days worth of playtime. We are about to be, I think, more days worth of playtime than I currently have in my All the Mods 9 world. So, yeah. We're putting in the work. And I'm having a blast. So, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I do appreciate you guys. And uh, let's see what, who we can find to raid. Who's we going to find a raid? Who's live? Oh, Sparkles is actually playing this. Let's raid him. There we go. We'll hit up Sparkles. Who is currently playing this crazy monstrosity of a pack. So... Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I'll see you, of course, in the next one. Thank you guys all for the amazing support today. And I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.